Well, greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your beloved Star Wars dad, Nooch Too Good, working on breathing out of my diaphragm because I told I might have a vocal cord dysfunction problem, which might be contributing to my asthma. So I'm focusing on breathing through the diaphragm today, and I'm sure that's news you wanted to hear uh, here on the channel. Let's get this kahoot going here. Give me one moment. We're going to have some free roster reviews here at the beginning of the stream. The top finisher in the roster review will win. The top finisher in the Kahoot will win a roster review today. There it is. Get in there and join. Let's have some fun. I don't know of any giveaways. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger is here. Roger, Roger is one of our newest High Council members. And this is his very first intro. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Roger. Roger, 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 Good to see you, Roger, Roger. Welcome aboard, my friend. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for all the support. And Roger, Roger is giving away his roster review today. So there we go. There's your first giveaway. So we're going to have two roster reviews. We're going to have two full roster reviews for the top two winners of our uh, roster review stream today. Give me a moment, Mischievous Grievous. i got to check some stuff. Got to get everything open up again. So Roger Roger is giving it a winner. It's going to be two. The top two finishers in today's Kahoot will win a roster review. And by the way, this is all about, it's a science quiz. It's, I don't think this is super, well... It's not like, you know, calculations and crazy stuff, but it's a science quiz today, a science kahoot for all you boys and girls. Don M, we're going to give away Don M's roster review too. Give me a moment here, guys. I forgot to pull up some info before I got going. Let's see what we got. All right, Mischief is Grievous. Yes, let's get yours today. Give me your ally code. That's a five minute. All right, and then, um, one moment. Sorry, guys, I forgot to pull up all my info that I need prepared for me to fully uh, um, host and meticulate a roster review stream for all of you to make sure you have the most wonderful experience here on the channel. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's really all I got. I don't have red dragon gods put together. That's my fault. Ah, I'm mad at myself now. I'm mad at myself. Anyway. Do mods still get a review? Yeah, let's put it in there, Ethan. I got you. G-Dub Gaming is another one of our newest Masters members. G-Dub Gaming. Let's get that intro. They Maybe. call themselves the Bad Batch. There you go, G Dub. Good to see you today, sir. How you doing? You like that, Roger Roger? Sorry, I just saw that. Red Dragon. I'm I'm a bad person. Red Dragon. I'm a bad person. I did. I I I blanked. I blanked on your. I, I blanked on it. This is so bad. It feels so bad. All right, uh, hang on here. Let's get let's get up here, guys. Let's get up here, guys. Yeah, I need to put the pin in there. Give me a moment. I, I, I'm very underprepared today. Very underprepared. Very underwhelming. Um, all right, Newt's too unprepared. We're, we're getting to the point where this is. There's a little bit of chaos here at the beginning of these streams, guys. I gotta say. <laughs> hey, Castro, how are you over on Twitch? Uh, let me get that message up to. That stupid Kahoot music is going. All right. Now, what's going on, everybody? 
What's going on? I got Ethan there. Let's see here. Mr. High School. Six, seven, eight, five, seven, six. I got gotcha. you. All right. Two reviews being given away today. All right. What else is going on? Have I missed anything? I don't know. There's a Arize and Gondolin has arrived. Let's give him his uh, master's intro. Master. 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 Why is it doing that now? After us, master betrayed us. Master must go inside and will be the master. Hey, Gray, I don't remember the other day. Did I say something nice about your roster or, or your just you in general? I'm not sure. You love the chaos. I know you love it. You just love seeing me in chaos. Makes my life pretty difficult. And then we get to anyway. All right, guys, get in the Kahoot. Top two winners get a roster review thanks to me and thanks to your pal. Uh, who gave it away? See, this is what I'm saying. There's too much going on. Um, Roger, Roger. So Roger, Roger is giving away a review. Uh, yeah, Matthew Heim, we've got $10 reviews and or you can join at the Knights of Nooch level. Those are your options. And if you join at that level, you get one roster review, a five-minute review every month. A full review is uh, is the 20 bucks. So let's see here, Don. Oh, and Don M gave one away. That's what I'm saying, guys, I can't keep up. I feel like I may have to start managing this a little more tightly. So there's gonna be three, three reviews today. Two of them given away by Roger Roger and Don M on the stream today. Top three winners in the Kahoot, which is a science Kahoot, will win a roster review today, courtesy of myself, Don M. And Roger, Roger. TJ, uh, where do you... Uh, <laughs> yeah, Hex. I, I gotta do this. I gotta do it. This has to be a different way, guys. I gotta figure out a different way to do this. Um, chat's just too much. So, I think we're at a point where we've got to completely reorganize these roster reviews. Um, sorry, man. It, it's so deep in here. I feel like... What are we in? 13 minutes in, and I don't even know what's going on. That's all I'm saying. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, Hex, I got your review today. Give me your ally code. I don't know you know why Roblox bank Banking, uh, Roblox, Roblox Bacon is complaining. Uh, your review schedule for next Friday. Am I okay to get that someone else instead? You don't want to do your, uh, didn't we have like a personal combo set up or something? Or was that with somebody else? You're a high council member. You get to sit down and talk with me at some point if you want. Come on, man. Maybe I'm just disorganized. Maybe it's just me. Now that I think that was Red Dragon. Uh, no, nah, TJ, we just got started. So let's see here. <laughs> let's see here. Yes, TJ, I can do your review. TJ and Hex, give me your ally codes. I'm just, I'm just kind of feeling like we might have to do this some other way than on the stream going forward because it's just getting to be a lot. In fact, it's getting to be more. In the midnight hour. That's for you, TJ. In the midnight hour, she cried. What is the deal, Streamlabs? You did an update, yell. and now every one of my gifts is like double starting. In the hour, babe. That hacks me off. Yes, you did. With a rebel yell. I do need a secretary, honestly. Hex, need that ally code, my friend. When do I plan on starting the new account? I'll let you guys in on a little secret here. Since we have to farm Bad Batch, that's not where I want to be. Since we have to farm Bad Batch, the Bad Batch has 14 days left, which puts it at May 2nd. It's going to end. So I'm planning to start the new account on May 1st. And there's just, I don't have any way to really get around that. Because if we're going to farm the Bad Batch, I've got to do this special event. You know, I can't I can't not do that special event since we're going to be farming. John Rohrer has joined the stream. One of our other newest High Council members. And i got to fix you, Dragon, but this is John Rohrer's intro. That was for you, my friend. Hopefully, I, I love you like that or not. I thought, <laughs> I thought you might like that. 
based on our conversation the other day. So I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. If you got if I need to redo it, I can redo it. <laughs> uh, I find that hilarious. Anyway, hey, Red Dragon, I gotta I gotta get your intro. I've got it in big letters now. Um, I'll get something together for you. I get something together for you. All right. That gave you nightmares as a kid, John Smith? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I, I think it's one of John, John loves those movies, so I thought that would be fitting. Let me see something here. All right, what's going on? G Dub, are you giving one away too? Are we talking on Saturday? I don't have it written down. I got to Uh oh, hang on. Well, we said something because I would have been. Aha, well, there we go. Got it. Got it now. Okay. We got a lot going on here, guys. We got a lot going on. We're trying to help all of our members, all of our people that join I'm, i try to incentivize it it's getting challenging to manage all by myself but i'm doing it we're getting it done hey multi -M, what's up open all bronzians button that's not happening i think they would have done that years ago if they were going to do that no you don't have to play apologies or confusion it's my confusion it's not your confusion swag frog has made the stream another master's intro for you my friend we got all the masters members disturbing on. is this move by chance disturbing is this move by chance that popped that's really pissing me off I understand. Really? That's You're on this council. Me out. But we do not grant you the rank of master. Like, I don't want to come on here before stream and run what? through every single little gif or meme that I've got in order for it to work, you know? All right, guys, you got about 15 seconds left to join the Kahoot. We're going to get this thing rolling here. Get in there and make some stuff happen, boys and girls. Used to watch, a, was Attack of the Killer Tomatoes a cartoon? Big debate. Duel of the Fates or Battle of the Legends? It's I, it's Duel of the Fates for me, but they're both so amazing. Hey, Mr. Ballas. Mr. Ballas, how you doing? Good to see all my friends over on Twitch, along with my friends over on YouTube. Let's get this Kahoot going. Uh, Jay Chung has made it, also known as the Single Malt Jedi. Let's say hello to Jay Chung, and then we will get this Kahoot started. Top three winners are winning a roster review today. Where are you going, Master? Where are you going, Master? For a drink? You wanna buy some death sticks? You don't want to sell me death sticks. I don't wanna sell you death sticks. You want to go home and rethink your life. I want to go home and rethink my life. Alright, Jay Chung's gonna give us that's gonna be four. Four people. The top four today will win a roster review. Alright. Let's get this going for science. It's all about science. Science! The isotope, this isotope of hydrogen is also known as heavy hydrogen. Yeah, I'm out. Out, see ya. They made a children's cartoon based on the movie. That's crazy. I don't remember that. We bring in Jedi. We're Ross reviewing Mary J. Get out of here. Can I, like, um, ban this person from chat over on Twitch? How do I do that? There you go. Ban. Figured it out. Deuterium. Yeah, no clue. 19 of you guys knew that. Congrats, I guess. Next question. How many we got? 18 questions. That's a lot of questions. We'll get this thing moving. Double points. 
Noble gases are inert because they have completed outer electron shells. Which of these elements is not a noble gas? Well, la de freaking da there, uh, E-man. Told you there's too much going on. Enjoy your work, looking Jay Chung. We got four roster reviews to give away. Top four finishers will win a roster review. Chlorine. I, you guys must be in school because I don't remember any of this stuff. True or false, carbon will always gain four electrons. True or false? You get to have a much larger lump of coal to get a diamond that size, right? Because doesn't it compress it over like, you know, millions of years or whatever? False. I don't know what the true answer is. It's been too long. What kind of substance makes litmus paper turn blue? Salt, alkali, acid, base. I know none of these. All right, let's be clear. I know uh, zero of these. Zero. Absolute zero of these is what I know. Some people are knowing a lot, or a few anyway. Alkali. All right, sir. Top four winner roster for you, Richie Orange. The best in Porkins are in the lead right now. Porkins? Checked. I can hold it. Hold on. No, I'm all right. Bye, Porkins. Which of these gases solidifies to form dry ice? Sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxide, helium, or carbon dioxide? I think I know this. I think. off world or yeah, we try to stick to that schedule. All then, sometimes I just fall off the schedule, but I try to stick to it, yes. Carbon dioxide, that's what I would have guessed. I would have got one! I would have one right answer right now. True or false? An electron is a subatomic particle. An electron is a subatomic... I think I know the answer to that. True, an electron, I knew that, I knew that. Because the atom is made up of electrons and protons, right? And the nucleus? I know that part. Archie's running with this, man. Archie is out in front. An atom is happy when it has seven electrons around its outer shell. <laughs> I couldn't tell you, man. I could not tell you. Roblox, you're surprised you got one right? Well, I mean... Based on the odds, there have been two true or false, so you've got like a, I don't know, you, you got at least a, like, you should be getting one out of every four right, at minimum. And you throw those one out of twos in there, and it's like gonna be one out of three right you should be getting. Water-based liquids can be described as acidic, neutral, or basic with respect to pH. Which of these describes milk? <laughs> slightly acidic, neutral, strong acid, slightly basic. Holy cow. This is way out of my uh, comfort zone, my friend. Way out of my comfort zone. Slightly acidic, all right? If you say so. The symbol SB stands for stibnum or stibnite. What is the modern name of this element? Arsenic, antimony, tin, samarium. I don't know any of these. I've only known one, so that looks like a rusty rock to me. <laughs> Antimony, yeah, that's what I would have guessed. This is a serious science. Archie is a scientist. Archie, Archie, you're a scientist. The best, Jolo and Orange are the, rounding out the top four, winning roster reviews today, and Castro is in fifth with a shot to move up. Do not despair, there's still plenty of time. We're only halfway through. Which of these chemicals help fruit to ripen? Methane, nitrogen oxide, ethylene, or carbon dioxide? We went from 4th to 27th. Good God. Came for Star Wars and ended up going to school. Ethylene! I had no idea. 
Ethylene sounds like that's something used to make, uh, to make meth on Breaking Bad. The common ion effect states that the addition of an ion common to two solutes causes... I'm not even reading it. Uh, guys, I, I'm so far gone on this one. I'm so far gone on this one. I have no idea about any of these answers. Archie is a chem major? He might be. This does seem pretty chemistry heavy. I agree with that. Precipitation or reduces ionization. Sure. Sure. That's what I was thinking. Oh, Archie got it wrong. Archie. Watch it, man. The best is only two questions behind you. One of the essential minerals in the human body is salt. How much salt, NaCl, is in the average adult human body? One kilogram, 250 grams, 500 grams, practically none. It's been longer since I did chemistry, Jamwa. That seems right. I, one kilogram seems like way too much. That's like one one hundred and fiftieth of your body. That's way too much. Question thirteen: Which freezes faster, hot water or cold water? No difference. Hot water, cold water, no difference. I feel like this is a trick question. It's gotta be cold water. What? I don't believe that. Hot water can in fact freeze faster than cold water for a wide range of experimental conditions. This phenomenon is extremely counterintuitive and surprising even to most scientists, but it is in fact real. Why? An afternoon spent experimenting in the kitchen will prove that under most circumstances, hot water does not freeze faster than cold water. This popular misconception comes from an experiment performed by a Tanzanian schoolboy named Erasto Mpemba. He posed a question... Uh, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Alright, number 14. Group 18 of the periodic table is made up of which elements? <laughs> A rare earth elements, halogens, I don't know. I don't know any of this stuff, man. I'm gonna get some hot water and some cold water and put them in the freezer and see what happens. Noble gases. Although I'd have to see it right when it freezes, I guess. Alright guys, Archie, Archie, the best, Adma and River are in the top four spots for roster reviews today. Who developed the theory of, the, of chemical relativity or the, the chemical reactivity of oxygen? I don't know. I, Jason, Joseph Priestley. <laughs> Jason Priestley. <laughs> Is it Jason Priestley? <laughs> you remember your science teacher taking boiling water out and throwing it outside and it froze. Was that like, do you live in Russia? I thought that's a thing in Russia. Hey, Chris Hardy. Antoine Lavoisier. 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 That's what Antoine Lavoisier. Three questions left. What color catches the eye first? Yellow, red, purple, blue. That's funny. Pay attention. Pay attention. Yellow. What? I, was, I would have said red and marked yellow. Yeah, but if you took cold water out into the freezing cold air, it would freeze too. I just, I'm not buying it. Two questions left. So, uh, double points, double points. Who discovered x-rays? Who discovered x-rays? Uh, Ryan Gosling... I believe I know the answer to this. Hey, Connor Ashley, what's up? I'll get you a master's intro in a moment. I can't keep track of you. It's getting to where I can't keep track. And you're not. Yeah, you are. 
Wilhelm Röntgen. I would have said Mary Curie, but I guess not. Okay. All right. Last question. Top four right now is Archie, the best, Adma, and Jay Lum. You are in line for roster reviews today, courtesy of myself and Don M and Roger Roger and Jay Chung. Last question of the day. Top four win a roster review. Which of these chemical elements is heavier than iron? Manganese, carbon, potassium, or gold? I don't know, man. I could not tell you. Sam, I am. Gold. I could have maybe guessed that. I got to get four names down here. Hang on. Let's see who our weeders are. In third place is Adma. In second place is the best. And our wiener is, of course, Archie, who just crushed it. And who is in fourth place? River. All right, so Richie, the best, Adma, and River. Drop your ally codes in chat over on YouTube or Twitch. And you will win a roster review today. So thank you to our uh, our Kahoot designer today was Hod Hod. So thank you. A big thank you goes out to Hod Hod. Don M, looks like you're next in line. That one should be interesting. We had a couple Masters members drop in there. Let's give them all their intro. Master, 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 Master. 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 Master, 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 a random someone, who are you? Are, are you guys, were you guys in the quiz? You got, this is why I always say, do you put your, like, can, you, can we not mirror our YouTube names on, on Kahoot? Is there a problem with that? Archie, I got you there, buddy. Are you a scientist, Archie? What's your story? A random seven is the best, okay? We're gonna have a fight one of these days. It's gonna be a fight, I'm just gonna tell... I'm going to have to say no if, if people don't put their YouTube names in. It's just asking for a fight. All right, let's see here. I'm just saying. All right, one moment. What was I doing? Um... I'm going to open voice chat. All right. Gotcha, Hex. Okay, Adma and River, I need your ally codes. Are you over on Twitch? You were so close, Jalem. Sorry, man. All right, bud. Adma and River, I need your ally codes. Uh, the consolation prize for those that failed the test is... You suck. <laughs> no soup for you. <laughs> You come back six months. All right, let's get this going. Mischievous Grievous with a five minute review. River, River, that's you, okay. Cool, River. And Adma is our last winner that needs to get it in there. Let me get my timer up here. All right, Mischievous, here 
we go. We got Mischievous Grievous, Mando's Misfits. We've got a CLS team under construction. Uh, we got an executor team under construction. Interesting. I saw Xandu Blood isn't even done there. How about that? That's not something you see every day, and I don't advise that. You really should get that uh, Xandu Blood farm completely. So look at what may cause the issue of the duplicating video. Can you link a video to see if it helped? Uh, yeah, it's, you DM it to me or something. I can't look at it right now. I'm in the middle of your review. Um, let's see here. So, what do we got? We got Executor. All right, four star. Again, I always recommend getting that to seven stars. ASAP Malevolence. Let's see how that fleet's looking. Looking pretty good. Keep farming that Hyena Bomber. That's in good shape. What else we got? Chimera is under construction. Uh, let's take a look at that Empire Fleet. Tide Defenders in there. That's good. Uh, it's an okay. It's an okay. I wouldn't mind seeing a Gauntlet being farmed here just for some recovery that comes off the bench. And then we've got PF. We have no Galactic Legends. We've got CLS. We got the Executor. Um, we got Wampa. This looks like it's farming almost my direct farming path. Is this like on the same farming path as my Hyperdrive Bundle account? Because it just looks exactly like it. There's the Phoenix there. Working on that. You got Captain Rex up, so you got a best probably a team that's doing something for you in Grand Arena, quite honestly. And so you got to your executor. The price you pay for rushing executors, you can't take it to seven stars. I get it. I get it. Uh you get one what daily. Sorry about that. Oh, Adma, you just DM me? Okay. All right. Uh, so we had CLS team. I mean, finish that, obviously. You're working on Grievous team. You're working on Phoenix team. You got Imperial Troopers. I mean, since you did the exact. I see something here. Did you do the 3PO event with Nisa? I'm very curious about that. Now, let me keep going here a little bit. Okay, no, no Drogon. So I thought maybe you were going to go after Leia here, but no. Yeah, tell me how, the, tell us how the event was with Nisa. That's something I'll be playing around with on the new account. So what are your plans here? I mean, you've got, you've got your executor. It looks like you're free to play or maybe a light spender. Um, you've got, uh, you got an Imperial Troopers team to finish. You got a Phoenix team to finish. You got a CLS team to finish. You got Wampa here to get done. You've got, after that, I don't know what to do after that. So Jabba free to play. Okay, we're going for Jabba. All right then. So that's smart. And this is smarter than my account, but you've probably been playing nine or 10 months, right? To get to executor here recently. And that makes a lot of sense with me. Um, so yeah, so you're going after Jabba. Han Solo's Relic 5, Boba Fett's Relic 8. Those guys are done. 3PO working on... Hey, man, I love it. I love the Jabba rush, but I love the idea of working your way toward it, right? And I do feel like, since you've already got them there, I feel like the CLS team finish is really important for you, especially to get the to Tier 3 of that challenge, of that uh, um, assault battle. It's not challenge. What was I going to look at? Imperial Troopers. Let's see these guys. I mean, you got enough here to have two full Imperial Trooper teams. You got the Omicron and Iden Versio. I wouldn't see mine seeing you put together two full Imperial Trooper teams here, honestly. Maybe farm Gideon or a Scout Trooper since you're going to go for Leia down the road. But you may just put one together. CLS, one Trooper team. Get your Wampa, get your Phoenix team together. And though, then go get your Jabba. I don't think that's a horrible idea at all. I really like that idea. Let's take a look at some mods here and see what's going on with your mods. Got a pretty darn fast P at for WoW for where your account is. 24, 25, 26. Good God, man. I'm a doctor, not a physician. Good gracious. Good night. Good Gracie. Good Lord. Offense and crit damage. You got some nice mods for, uh, for a guy at, what are you at? 2 million? 2.3 million. You have nice mods. Hey guys, Mischievous Grievous gives good mods. That's all I gotta say. Excellent mods. Well done. Alright, so Cad Bane ship there is gonna be done. Wampa. I, I like the Bane. You're in great shape. You're in great shape. Go get Jabba and uh, keep working. I, but I, I love the idea of before you go to get Jabba, finish the CLS team, finish your Phoenix, finish your Imperial Troopers. 
that's going to give you the Imperial Troopers is two assault battles. The CLS team is one assault battle. The Phoenix is another assault battle. That's going to give you a lot of juice going forward in the game. Here you go, Mischievous Grievous. Thank you, sir, for all of your support. You are a gentleman and a scholar. I do not care what Swag Frog says about you. How are we doing over on Twitch? It's time to hear from our lurkers. If you are out there and you are watching and you are lurking, work lurking, dishes lurking, hanging out lurking, uh, Netflix and chill lurking. Ah, <laughs> let's hear from all the lurkers right now. We'll give you a big shout out over on Twitch and YouTube. I'd love to hear. We love our lurkers here on Nooch Too Good. You're all wonderful people. And I can't say enough nice things about you. Roblox Bacon, Aatrox Abuser, Christopher Horn, uh, Roblox Bacon, Inspector IP, J. Chung, Ethan Mayerche, Roxas, see the description for this video. There is a link to my Discord in every description of every video I've ever made on YouTube. J. Lem is lurking. Mr. Ballis is lurking and twi lurking and tweaking. Isn't that E? Aren't there E's in that? Let's see here. Uh, Gagadi Pro, Connor Ashley, G. Dub Gaming, Riley Thompson, Red Dragon, Harrison John Roar. Mmm. Uh, sleep lurking. Ethan says sleep. <laughs> e Man says sleep lurking. E Man's over there in Sweden. Um, uh, Vitris, Luke Gratchik, Joey Santiago, Big Texas Burn, Me Zombie, You Food. All right, I'll take a look at it later. Thanks, Multi. I appreciate that. Caleb Dillard is lurking. Have we ever been on stream long enough to lurk? Who is we? Who is we? Aerith and Aerith. A random someone, Jamwa, home from work lurking. Yeah, take a nap, man. Take a nap. You know, I got DM'd a uh, ally code. I got to check that one. I'm going to leave yours unlooked at right now, Mole. That'll remind me to look at it later. Gotcha, cat man. All right, let's go take a look at Archie here. Archie crushed the Archie crushed the uh, the Kahoot. Like Archie owned that Kahoot. Like I had a lot of political jokes come to mind, and I'm gonna avoid them today. Uh, a lot of political jokes came to mind there. He says, "Dad is a science teacher." Ah. Paternity leave lurking. Congratulations, Sirens. Uh, let's see here. Nah, multi. If I if I know I want to see if I know I got a message. I, Discord is hard for me. I get a lot of, I get a lot of Discord notifications. So what happens is, if I open your message now and look at it, and I don't execute it right away, which I'm not going to sit here on stream, and work on a fix for my stream labs. I mean. I, you know how that happens. You do stuff, and it messes more things up, and then things... It's, I'm just not going to do it on stream. So, oh, you fire the joke away. I was... I almost said... There were, I had a couple. <laughs> Joe Correa has made an appearance! Can you believe it? Oh, my goodness. Joe Correa is lurking, and he said it out loud. Hold the One phone, everybody. We love our Correas around here, or our court. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, man. I already got I blew it. I was so excited. This is probably going to play twice for his uh, Joe Correa daddy's home. Joe Correa with the big gift of memberships, making it green as always. Joe, it's good to see you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you coming in. All the support you always offer. You are truly the reason uh, for the season, my friend. Who, who is Joe Correa? <laughs> I love that question. Make it green. You gonna take that, Joe? <laughs> Who is Joe Correa? <laughs> Memberships gifted to Nakaris, Christopher Horn, Sirens, Finn Connolly, Riley Thompson, Corey G, Kiss Cup. It's Kiss Skip? Kiss Sip? Banana Gilbert. Hey, uh, hey, Bananakin. Banana Gilbert is here. What do you think of that, Bananakin? Just wondering today. What kind of mood is Bananakin in? Bananakin in. Oh. Ah, no. 
Not good. Not good. He's an angry fella. Angry fella. He does not like. He does not like anybody's got that banana in their name. It's just bad. It's bad. Old Geezer Gamers, Cyberblock, Chris Habig, Nate Palmer, Bob Bellevue, Farce 28, Shield Flyer Stagger, Bobo, Will Herod, and Golden Holden were gifted gifted memberships today from Who is Joe Correa? <laughs> Uh, Ave Maria has subscribed with Prime over on Twitch. Thank you, Ave uh, Avex, Ave Avex. All right, guys, who's next here? Archie, let's see what you got. Archie, Am I, is it Archie? But it hasn't had his potassium yet. But to, but does potassium weigh more than iron? That's the question. Does potassium weigh more than iron? Any more of those we got to go? I don't think I saw Nate Palmer. Bob Bellevue? I saw that one. Got like six of these to go. All right, Archie, let's take a look at the roster. We got a CLS roster with Rolo. I hope you're aware, Archie, that's not ideal there. Not ideal. Free to play. I love I love a free to play. I love a free to play. So, are you going after Java or are you going after Jedi Master Luke? It's one or the other. You have a lot of gear 12. You have a lot of gear 12. But, I mean, some of it's well put together. The Geos are a nice gear 12. Savage isn't such a bad gear 12. Nice swag. Jedi Master Luke probably just having fun. Well, you're not exactly just having fun. This is a very targeted farm you're doing. The fact that you have Lando and Rolo, Relic 3, indicates you're not just having fun. You know, I mean, you're having fun and farming what you want to farm. I get it. And that's great. That's a really good thing. You know what? You know something we don't see a lot of these days are free-to-play rosters that haven't bought uh, Lightspeed bundles and are just doing their own thing. And Archie brings it to us today. He's farming for Jedi Master Luke. Is it the perfect way to go? Well, maybe, maybe not. But he's getting he's getting his Rolo up and his Lando up, 3PO Wampa, getting ready for Jedi Knight Luke first, on his way toward Jedi Master Luke, just rushing straight towards it. Although he does have a Jedi Knight Revan mixed in there at gear 12. He's got a Savage Press mixed in there at gear 12. You know, not really truly the most and best and most and, and absolute premium uh, uh, um, what do we call it? It's an efficient farming path. But Archie is free to play. Archie's farming who he wants to farm, when he wants to farm him, because he loves him and he loves Star Wars. Hats off to you, Archie. In this complicated world of lightspeed bundles, you are the calm in the storm. There you go, Archie. We'll make that a short. Don M just hit three straight speed rolls on a mod. You are welcome. You are absolutely welcome for that. If you guys have never, never been here or never watched a video when I'm rolling mods, if I got the camera on and I'm rolling mods, things are happening, my friend. Things are happening. Archie, I love it, man. I mean, you know, I don't, don't look like you need a lot of help here. I would, uh, looks, you're only, um, let's see. Well, you gotta get that falcon up. Uh, why don't you have the falcon up? One, two, three. Oh, you didn't farm IG-2000. You didn't farm IG-2000. Oops. Oops. Well, you know, it's crazy to say that the IG-2000 is the one thing holding you up from Jedi Knight Luke right now, but it is. It just is. You could have done, you could have done Razor Crest too, maybe. But um, yeah, man, keep that. Let's. Look, I'll look at your mods. But you know, I just love the roster. I love the fact you're having fun. You know, and, and I'll tell you that. I mean, you're having fun. That's great. Crit damage is really not. In, uh, yeah, I mean, well, 
Now listen, everybody. Listen. Just, just step back. Let's just realize Archie just said he's just having fun. He knows everything about science. I mean, it's basically we've got Neil deGrasse Tyson here in chat. Well, I don't know if Neil deGrasse Tyson knows everything about science. We, we've got, uh, we've got, uh, what did somebody say earlier? We've got Stephen Hawking here in chat named Archie. And he said he's just having fun. So I'm not going to get him with the fix your mods. Unless you ask, Archie, do you want to know about your mods? Do you want to know what's wrong with your mods? I'll leave it up to you, my friend. If you would like to tell me the problem with your mods, I will jump in full barrel. But if you're not worried about it, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it either. I'm in a good mood today. I feel strong. I feel like a strong female character created by Disney. I can do no wrong. Everything I touch will turn to gold. I will have no struggles. And if struggles come, they will be immediately dismissed. That's how strong characters work. That's how strong characters work. Yeah, why not, you know, gotta improve. All right, Archie. Archie, your mods suck. You gave me permission. Take these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up for dinner. Take these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up for dinner. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. First, you've got to fix your mods. Caitlin, what's up? Everybody, everybody, I want everybody to yell at Archie in chat. Everybody tell Archie to fix his mods in chat. Let's get a big FYM train. He asked for it. He asked for it. All right, so here's the deal. Here's the deal, um, Archie. And, and what I want you to do, Archie, I've got a mods playlist. I got you, Caitlin, by the way. I've got a mods playlist, Archie, and I'm going to recommend you go watch it, at least like the first two or three videos. They're going to be really informative. There's a lot in there about how to fix your mods, a lot of content on just how mods work. But here's the deal with mods, okay? The very first thing you have to know is this is a good mod, okay? Because it has a nice speed secondary in here. A nice speed secondary, right? 16 speed secondary. This is a good mod. A useful mod. This is a mod that you might even see on like an end game roster. It wouldn't be on the top, you know, 30 or 40 characters, but you might find it on a character halfway through like a, like a, uh, I don't know, like a, uh, uh, my brain is failing me. You might see this on like an Echo for the Bad Batch or, you know, so this is a mod you might see on a character on an end game roster even at that. This mod absolutely sucks, okay? Because there's no speed secondary. And on these mods, speed is the most, here you got it on your arrow, the primary stat on your arrow, it's so important. So important. This is a crit damage five speed mod, not really great, not really great. Only five speed on it. This has offense and 15 speed, this is a good mod. Now I feel like you know something about mods, my friend. I feel like you know something about mods. But these two mods are, are just a fail. It's just a fail. There's no way to get around it. These mods are a fail. Any mod that you roll that does not have a speed secondary, except for a few select characters in the game, should be tossed immediately. Chewy, hey, you were formerly Matthew Hine. Any mods that come into your roster that don't have speed secondaries should be sold immediately. And what I want you to do, Archie, Go watch that video. Go watch the, um, go watch that playlist. It'll help you a lot. It'll help you a lot. Cartman87725, I'd encourage you to watch the video that's pinned in the, uh, in the pinned message, and that'll help you know how Raj reviews work on the channel. Okay, everybody wants me to put those, that crit damage mod on Darth Vader, so I will. It'll be on Darth Vader on an in-game roster. So, it's all, it's all about this. It's all about this. It's all about the speed secondaries. And I won't even get to the fact that you're not running Chupio on this team. That you're not running 3PO and Chewbacca on the team. And you haven't even farmed 3PO and Chewbacca. That's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. But you know what, man? Maybe you're just getting started. I I'm going to guess, Archie, 
Let, let's talk clear. Are you just getting started on your journey? I mean, I know you've been playing for a little while, but a lot of us played, you know, the game for a long time, just casually, just having fun. Then we decided to get a little more serious about it. We started watching videos. We started seeing what's out there. Started looking at farming guides. I'm guessing you're just starting to maybe venture into that serious part of it. So now you're going to start learning about mods and about team comps. Because the best team comp for CLS is going to be CLS, Chewbacca, 2PO, 3PO, and Han Solo. And that'll make your roster really, really good. So there you go. But yeah, those mods, not your best. Been playing on and off for maybe five or six years. You know what, guys? Archie's casual. Archie, I'm really glad you were here on the stream today. We don't get a lot of, you know... We don't get a lot of those just casual guys hanging out, playing the game, and it's really good to see you. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to the family, my friend. Welcome to the family. All right, let's go back over to our paid reviews. Ethan, sort of paid. He's a mod. Paid with his time. Ethan, 736-978-576. Let's see what you got. Ice of Spades. Guys, we have seen, throughout the last... Two plus years since we've been doing roster reviews. I've seen this roster on and off repeatedly. This was we actually had a dad talk. Back when we used to do dad talks, we you know, we we did a talk with, with Ethan here with the Ice of Spades. Um we've seen this roster a bunch. So let's take a look at this thing. Hey Gray. Gray, you said I you said that I said something nice to you the other day. Was that in on a video or on a stream? I really don't remember. I'm glad I did. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, Ray, Piet. So we got bundles. Oop, I missed a. Uh, we got Big Ninja here. Let's give that Masters intro for Big a Ninja if I can find it. There you go. Max the Cool. All right, five minute review, my friend. No problem. I am the legend. It's, it's true. <laughs> I am the legend. I got you, Max the Cool. I got you, Big Ninja. Give me your ally code. Oh, the Game and Life video. You're living with cancer. Yeah, okay, I kind of remember that now. Great, hang in there, buddy. I hope you're. I hope you're doing okay. Um, you know, I know the cancer is up and down, especially when you when you live with it for a long time. You know, um, if you're one of the lucky ones that get to live with cancer for an extended period of time. Yeah, I, I hope you're doing well, and I hope that uh, it's either in remission or you can get to remission soon. We're all rooting for you, Gray. All right, uh, this was not a bundle. This was actually farmed all by, all by myself. I farmed Kylo all by myself, by myself. You're welcome. Ray was a bundle. Yeah, that's kind of my point, right? Right, Gray? It's like, um, life is, life is hard. I mean, life is crushing. Hey, Juggernaut1897, what's up? Lurking and working. Life is, can be really soul crushing and, and life crushing. You know, it's, it's not like this is easy. It's not like we're all here, here you know, we, people think you got a harder than somebody else. Everybody's got a hard. I don't care who you are. Everybody's got a hard, man. It is, it, life is. Chews you up and spits you out, my friend. And so, um, it's a game. Enjoy the game, man. Yeah, sometimes it's frustrating. We all get frustrated. You guys have seen me too. And but yeah, enjoy the ride. Have some fun. You think that was? I actually that wasn't the pterodactyl. This is the pterodactyl. Here comes the dog. 
Hello, Leia. Come here. Oh, Leia doesn't like the pterodactyl. She just goes to her girl. You're a good puppy. <laughs> I want to get her to bark. You just don't care, do you? You're a sweetie. She's a good girl. Yeah, she's a big girl. She's a big girl now. She's a good girl. You don't like that pterodactyl noise, do you? All right. All right. Uh, what are we talking about? Ethan. Clip that making a 10 hour soothing video to sleep to me doing pterodactyl noises. I don't think anybody wants that. <laughs> soothing to sleep to. <coughs> All right, Ethan, what are you farming, dude? What's going on? What's next? We got executor. We got malevolence. We got negotiator. Look at those malevolence and negotiator fleets. Eee, make it an alarm clock. <laughs> this is gross. Uh, that's not good at all. Like, that's horrible. That's really bad. This is alright. Just alright. I mean... Man, you, you, you have neglected your fleets, my friend. Congrats, Noah, homie. That poor Swedish guy, that's E-Man. <laughs> what are you working on, Ethan? I think you should work on your, your Galactic Republic and Separatist fleets. That's ugly, dude. Chris Hardy, all right, buddy. I got room for uh, one more review here and then we're gonna cut it off. You're finishing your Darth Revenant Squad. When I started Malik last week, kind of working toward Cal Kestis, maybe Jenna and Luke, want to go for Leviathan, but no Malgus Interceptor makes it hard. Thinking about Jabba, okay. There's Starkiller, got that. Well, you'll probably have another Lightspeed Bundle here pretty soon to supplement your farming. Why is Mission Val Relic 4? Like, Relic 4... What's going on here? Did you do that for the, um, the Great Dragon Raid? Because it wasn't... This isn't for Rote. Relic 4 doesn't do it for Rote. Huh. Very interesting. Uh, let me see here. I gotta give... I haven't, I haven't even put any hearts on these things. I always forget to do it. I should be doing this more often. Zalbar is for TB mission. Mission was for Ray. Not your brightest decision. Yeah, not super great. Sinsuna, I gotcha. All right, we're full. We are full. I need an ally code, Sinsuna. Wolf Pup, see the uh, description video, the video description for the uh, Discord server. I'll put a link here. Hang on.
Yeah, we're full up. And we got it. We got, uh, I'd love to keep taking everybody's money and be here all day, but we've got, I mean, I've got about 10 to do right now. We still got, well, there's more than 10. Um, so yeah, it just keeps coming. But yeah, since soon I need your ally code. Full up shelf. Catch me next time. Catch me outside. What needs doing for to get Nego other than a few pilots? Yeah, it's a few pilots. Your, um, your pilots just aren't good enough. Like, fives isn't good enough. Clone sergeant's not good enough. Um, Plo Koon could use some relic or gear levels. And then if you were, uh, the way, if you're going to use Marauder, then you've got to get these guys, you know, you got to get these guys geared up too. So that's all I'm saying. I mean, you're doing okay. It's not the worst. I mean, your starting lineup might be okay. It's just, I don't really like Ahsoka in the starting lineup for a number of reasons. One is she's low hanging fruit. Like she gets knocked out really quick and really easily because her reinforcement is that when she reinforces, she takes all the debuffs and turns them into max health. Or all the buffs and turning them and turns them into max health. So I really like her much more as a reinforcement than in the starting lineup. And you can't really put anybody else in that starting lineup. So it's just not perfect. And Marauder be perfect, but you're not anywhere close to Bad Batch either. So what do you say? Uh, Jedi Cal Kestis, Darth Revenant Squad. Let's look at that. Yeah, there's Darth Revenant Squad. I mean, push it toward Leviathan. Got it, Sensuna. Yeah, um, I mean, you'll need all these for Leviathan down the road. I wouldn't keep going with HK at all. I do kind of like Sith Assassin. I do kind of like Sith Assassin. And then, what else? Genetic Calcastus. Let's see how that's going. All right, uh, Seer is almost set. Why, now, why are you farming Genetic Calcastus? What are you going to do with that? Uh, Saw isn't farmed. Tarful isn't farmed. And uh, Marin is. Okay. All right. Well, you're kind of on your way there. But I mean, do you have Jedi Knight Luke? Not yet. Let me see. Jedi Knight Cal, Jedi Knight Luke, go for Leviathan. It's not a bad path. And like I said, you know, you're going to get a Lightspeed Bundle probably in the next few weeks here. You'll have a Lightspeed Bundle very soon. By the way, for those who missed out on reviews today or paying, you, you, I'll be back next two days for, we're going to have review streams next two days. So just keep showing up. And you got a really heavy bundle roster here. Where's, wait, I feel like you've been playing longer than that. Is this a new account or a different account? Because, like, most of this stuff is bundle stuff. Although you did Kylo on your own. Finish off Darth Revan, Genetic Cal, Genetic Luke. Hermit Yoda's already Relic 5. Well, you're probably right around the corner from Genetic Luke, aren't you? Same account as always, having to farm 2 out of 3 bundle farms, free to play. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Wampa's not Relic 3 yet. Is that your only requirement you need? Rolo Cholo. So Wampa, Rolo Cholo, Jedi Knight Luke. I mean, that's the easiest path right now. And you're not that far from Jedi Master Luke either. Oh, I'd really encourage you to do Captain Rex. Because you got the Phoenix here. Mon Mothma. You, you should start farming Mon Mothma. I mean, if you're going to have Jedi Knight Luke, 
boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen, if you're gonna unlock Jedi Knight Luke, it is a, a hop, skip, and a jump to Jedi Master Luke. Literally, like, there's so much overlap between those two farms. It just, it's almost ridiculous, actually. It's almost ridiculous how much overlap there is between the two farms of Jedi Knight Luke and Jedi Master Luke. So if you're gonna do one or the other, you might as well do both. So that's all I'm saying. And you're thinking about Jabba? You're not thinking super hard about him. I definitely believe that there will be a new um, Galactic Legend available later this month or early next month in a Lightspeed bundle. I have no evidence of this. I don't know anything yet. I don't think they've launched. I've been checking the uh, SWGH events a lot. Yeah, nothing new in there. So, I do believe it's coming. So, maybe that'll be your next Galactic Legend. Ah. Uh, I, I just like your Jedi, Jedi Knight Luke, Jedi Master Luke path. You're, you're much closer to that than anything else. And then if, they give you, if you get Cal from there, well, Cal is the Luke lifter, and that's a big deal. And little Cal is going to be your uh, Ray lifter. Do you have Ben Swallow? Probably not. No. Let's look at some mods. There you go. That's pretty good. That's super exciting. 17. Yeah, it's just pretty good. I know, dude. Ethan, look at you got any questions for me? Or I mean it looks pretty good. The roster's in good shape, man. You know what you're doing. Good morning, Tyler Baslin. Another Masters member. Disturbing is this move by Chancellor Palpatine. I understand. You are on this council, but we do not grant you the rank of master. What? What? Yeah, you're right around the corner from Jedi Knight Luke, and you might as well go for Jedi Master Luke after that. I know I've been dogging on him, but I mean, I'm just complaining. I would definitely recommend Rex. And your your Imperial Trooper team is kind of lacking at the moment. I mean, that's an assault battle team, you know? Ah, come on. I mean, you've got you've got two assault battles here, just just waiting for you to finish. Like range trooper, this top row, maybe you Stark instead of Gideon. I think is a better way to go. But yeah, you got two assault battles sitting here staring you in the face if you just finish these troopers up. You know what I mean? A yeah, pretty big payoff for some pretty cheap troopers. So I'm thinking, man. Gotta fit Inquisitors in. Yeah, that's the hard part. Jedi Knight Luke, Jedi Master Luke, um, Imperial Troopers, the the new Galactic Legend farm, whatever it is on the new uh, bundles. Got a Dark Trade team kind of waiting in the wings. And Inquisitors. So... I would do your Luke stuff first and sharding. Do your Luke stuff first. Make sure you're sharding for Jedi Knight Cal if you can. And then um, once you get Luke and Cal done, then maybe go for Inquisitors and then swing around to your Imperial Troopers. I don't know. Imperial Troopers shouldn't be that difficult on you, but it's kind of it's a, it's a good question. I don't know exactly. My thoughts. Wow, Starkiller is that fast? Yeah, it looks like your speed kind of drops off a shelf here. Mara should be a lot faster. Like, 40 to 50 faster on Mara. I'd work on that. Yes, and Suna.
Star Killer is pretty fast. Yeah, you need to get Mara Jade a lot faster. That's all I'm saying. Ethan, looking good, man. Let me know when that Jedi Master Luke comes in. I think that's really the clearest path for you. Clearest path. What's this? All right, guys. I, I just I don't accept al. I get I get three to five ally requests a day. I I just can't manage it. It's just too much to manage. I appreciate everybody that reaches out with an ally request. It, I just can't continually add and remove, add and remove, add and remove all over. Okay. Who's next? Let's go back to our uh, Kahoot winners. The best. See what you got. The best. As always, voice chat is open for anybody who wants to join us in voice chat today. Probably need to get this thing moving a little bit. Mini Darth Malglitch. Being Darth Malgovich. Malglovich. Yeah, it didn't work. Kylo. Don't let your babies grow up to be Kylo's. Look, that was just straight up farm. Just a regular farm. Is this free to play? I think this is free to play. Yes, another one. I love it. I love it. Free to play. Nice. Jedi Knight Luke is done. On your way to Jedi Master Luke, I'm assuming. Like we just said. Hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah, Arise, we got, uh, when people do roster reviews, I've got my voice chat open in Discord, and everybody's welcome to join me. Just talk to me here on the stream. When you're getting a review, not anybody. And don't jump in there. Not, not This is not directed at you, Arise, but we had somebody jump in there and be a douchebag here recently, so we booted them out of our server for good. It's not there if you get a stupid childish attention. It's there to, you know, talk to me about their roster. Got a little work to do for Jedi Master Luke. You got R2, you got Jedi Training Ray. Oh, Ben, Princess, you got some work to do for Jedi Master Luke. We're gonna have building teams for our jail. That's there you go. Let's see what we gotta build. Uh building a Treya team, it looks like. Building a Phoenix team, it looks like. Gonna have a nice Jedi team, especially for the assault battles, you know. So it looks like you're building. Building Phoenix. I like Sabine instead of Ezra. And I like. Uh, yeah, these two. Building Phoenix. Got her Zeta. I would definitely recommend Omicron and Rex and Omicron and Hera. Hera's is TW, and it's it's great. And Rex's is Grain Arena. It's great. Got Jen and Luke a week ago. Cool. I love this free-to-play roster. I love Savage there. I love that you're working on Treya. Are you working on Nihilus? <sighs> you need Dark Nihilus. Trolls do suck, uh, Juggernaut. I don't know. I don't know that I like those movies either. The movies kind of suck. I haven't seen the Trolls movies. My kids are too old. My kids are too old. And they're boys. So. Not much in the Troll movies. We raised our boys in the uh, early 2000s. And our life was for 20 years... Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Jurassic Park, Marvel. That was the focus of our life. We were at the movie theaters like every weekend. It's really, um, movie, movies are just not, there's nothing great going on at the movies right now. We had Barbenheimer last year, which was fun. I remember walking into Barbenheimer. It was the first time I'd seen a full theater in, my goodness, since before the pandemic for sure. But that theater was packed, packed. 
and it was the first time I'd seen it in a long time. So, you were raised on Transformers cartoons, Star Wars, He Man said, Well, you're uh, you're down there with me then on that. Uh, that's 80s action right there. Yeah, man, we used to go to the movies all the time. I mean, like, even though our kids are grown, there's just not that much out to see anymore, you know? Marvel kind of sucks. There's no Harry Potter. Harry Potter was a big part of that, too. Harry Potter, Star Wars, Marvel, um, even Twilight. I know, Twilight. Nah, not Turtles. Not a Turtles guy. Any career advice? Interviewing for a job that's two times your current pay will require more of my time away from my family and I have young kids. Yeah, that's tough, Droptimus. Uh, I got a big question. There's a few questions there, Droptimus. First of all, does your family need the income? That's the question. Second question is, will your spouse support you in being away more? Third question is, this may be the first question, are, can you handle, like if you're traveling all the time? That ain't easy, brother. Um, you know, a lot of travel leads to a lot of bad eating habits, maybe even some other bad habits, you know, and it gets difficult. Um, just something to think about. Just something to think about. It's really up to you. Um, Spouse is supportive money be nice, not necessary, not a ton of travel, but some. Yeah, I can't I can't tell you what to do. I would never tell you what to do, but I mean those are the considerations. Um So not travel, just a lot more work hours. Would you be able to work at home? Are you getting any good vacation out of it? It's really a quality of life thing. Now, for me, quality of life has become more important as I move forward in life. Um, as I, you know, my wife and I, we love, yeah, you have four boys. Yeah, we had, uh, we had about the same juggernaut. We had, we had twins in the middle of our boys. And then our youngest was 10 years younger than my oldest, but, um, some work at home, but long hours. Yeah. You really got to weigh it with your life, man, and how it balances with your life. Um, you know, the, the younger your, your kids are the more you're going to enjoy the time with them. Although I'll say that ah, whenever they're home, it's the whole time they're home. You know, I remember when they were little and how much fun that was. And I remember when they were in grade school and how much fun that was. And they all started to do their thing. We had a, my oldest is a gymnast. Uh, one of my twins is a baseball player. The other one was a, is a piano and a music guy. And my youngest is in now into weightlifting and he's doing plays. And, um, you just really have to weigh it out. I mean, right. I think a lot of us are raised in that that time period where, and we still see it. Um, you know, my wife took a job here. I say that out loud. I'll leave it. Workaholism is a real thing, and you know, people that just live to work. You know, you don't want to. You don't want to be there. I just. Golly, there's a, living to work. If it's your thing that you created, I under I, I have a lot of understanding for that. You know, like if I was working 12 hours a day on this channel and, and any other channels or whatever I had going on, I can see that being something you invest your time in really heavily because it's something I own and I created and I continue to create. Working like working like a dog for somebody else, uh, that's tough for me. That's really tough. When I really look at it, like, if I'm going to take a job with a giant corporation where the CEO is making, you know, boo-hoo millions of dollars and get it. Here's my corporate beef coming in again. You get the person at the bottom of the line that's making, you know, 25, 30 grand. And the person at the top is making 30 million plus. They're getting, like, gifted, you know, 10,000 shares of stock every quarter. Um... Because they need it, you know. I work for a corporation too. Uh, it's necessary for my for my life. For my lifestyle to be what it is, I have to have my job with the corporation I work for. And it's a good corporation. And I don't really, you know, um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything against the corporation I work for. I appreciate the opportunity is there. 
I work with good people. I have a good boss. I'm not complaining about the job. But just at the end of the day, it, it's tough for me to get motivated anymore to work for a corporation. I was motivated for years to do that, but it's tough for me to do that, get up out of bed and get motivated to work for a corporation. So you just got to weigh it out, man. I wish I had something to tell you, but those are just, you just got to take the considerations too. But I really think um, it's something to weigh out with your wife, especially or your partner. That's the main thing is your partner. If you have their support, that's the number one thing. If you feel like you want to do the job, you feel, you feel like you have your partner support, that is the absolute top of the barrel thing. But there'll be some life adjustments and some challenges. And maybe it's something where you do it for a while, put some money away, and then, you know. I will tell you this, guys. You know, we complain about the people at the top of organizations and CEOs making gazillions of dollars. I will tell you, as you climb that ladder, those lives are just work lives. A CEO's life is just the company. They live and breathe and sleep and die the company. That's all they do with their time. And work-life balance for a CEO doesn't really exist. The same way it doesn't, it doesn't exist for the leader of a nation or a state. It's just constant. You're, you're constantly at somebody needs you somewhere. You're accountable for every little thing that happens in the company. But um, and that, every time you get a promotion, that, that increases, increases, increases. So anyway, there you go. Yeah, I agree with Multium Gaming there. Yeah, I wish more companies took care of people. I really do. My company actually does take care of people pretty well. I've got real good insurance, real good benefits, uh, work-life balance. I have a lot of benefits at my job. Um, I know people, really can't say, but I know people close to me that work for companies that do not have good benefits and do not have good work-life balance and work with and around people that don't have a good work-life balance. And that's just a bad situation, man. That's just no good for anybody, so. All right, guys. The best. I like your farming the best. I think you're on a good path. I like your roster. You're doing a great job. I work in fine, I'm not a tech guy. No, no, no. I work in finance. Finance and banking, that's what I've always been in. I was in mortgage for 25 years. Finance and banking, that's me. I can't really talk a lot about it because there's restrictions. So and that's why I don't. Yeah, your CLS mods aren't great. Yeah, you said mediocre. I can, I'm on board with that. I'm on board with mediocre. Media? Ugh. I mean, I guess I'm in media too, right? <laughs> I can't really see much. Hey, you want to get a lot more health on Wampa? Just a heads up. I like the tenacity idea, but you know, you want a lot more health. When 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 Wampa does the icebreaker, this protection up that Wampa gains is based on max health. So get more health in there. You want some more health mods. Just a thought there. Uh I, mortgage for me for 25 years, it went up and down like three times. I lost multiple jobs along the way. Mortgage is a up and down industry. No thank you. Same thing with Savage, you want a bunch of health mods? Because you just want to keep them alive. I get the offense. You want to make sure you get some get some more health primaries. You don't want protection here. You don't want protection. You just want health. Because his protection goes away fast and he's left with health. And then this, you just you either want offense. You don't need tenacity here. He's not really going to resist a lot of stuns. Even when he does, every time he gets hit, he's gaining 30% turn meter. So he can get stunned and still be okay. Um, crit chance, nah. You want to get health or offense there. Health and offense. That's what you want on Savage. There you go. I like your roster. I love this. Two free-to-play rosters in a row from the Cahoots. That's awesome. Thanks, you guys. Richie, the best. Good job, guys. Good job. Hex, let's take a look here. And that's why I get the... Yeah, it is true, Mr. Ballas. It is, it is true that the executives are compensated, but it's just ludicrous and out of control. It's ludicrous and out of control how much executives are... Well, I'm going to pull up the chart here. Here it is. Hey, is that you, Hex? Hang on a second. I'm looking at the, the graph for CEO versus worker pay. 
Now, this is just 2009 to 2018. And the CEO pay increased at 100% the rate of worker pay during that time. If you look at this going back to like 1970, it is actually insane. CEO to worker pay used to be... That's not the trend I really wanted, actually. Hang on. Hang on, Hex. We're doing important things here. This is it. Here's the chart. Okay, here is CEO to worker pay in the last 50 years. Back in 1965 to 1970, CEO pay was about... Yeah, 20 times that of the average worker all the way through 75 even in through the 80s into 1990 that was 50 times and it has exploded now ceos in america are making 351 times and by the way granted to realize granted they hide all this income by giving them stock options that's how i understand is that right it's just it's so bogus I get that CEOs make more money than they should, but ludicrous, man. And by the way, during that time, we've, we've added multiple layers and layers and layers and layers of administration in all these giant corporations so that the guys that sit behind the desk, the middle-aged white guys that sit behind the desk, are hiring all their buddies, whether they're qualified or not. The hire men, they promote them within six months to take their salaries through the roof and just pay and pay and pay and pay and pay. And pay. It's just, it's really stupid, so... Cool. Z Trophies hates me. Welcome aboard, Z Trophies. Uh, they don't have so much time themselves. They're in charge of everything for everything that goes wrong. I get it. Yeah, but the, the pay gap is, is ridiculous. And by the way, if CEOs and people in the government don't realize this, if you don't keep the rabble happy, things eventually go bad for you. Rabble being me. The rab you have to keep the rabble happy. What happened in 1972, we went off the gold standard and international trade opened. We started trade with China. So we started making everything in China and we went off the gold standard. Those are the two things that happened in 1972. And I was born. X, let's look at your roster, dude. Let's stop. All right, where's, the rest of this history will be for roster reviews. <laughs> X, how you doing? Are you there? That's right. It's not picking up. Give me a second here. I got to... Redo this here to pick up your voice. Give me one moment. Thought I had it on Discord. Uh, let's try this. All right, now say something. Good day. Hey, we got Hex. All right. Hex, tell us about the roster. What's happening? What's going on? What are we doing? Uh, I'll be completely honest. It's been a couple of months since I've really touched this roster. I've been more focused on an alternative roster, which I've been making YouTube videos on. So now that I'm touching this again, I want to know what direction I need to go in. And wh what is the YouTube channel? Is it just Hex or are we on a different channel? No, I'm on a different channel. It's uh, an Aerith Aerith. Well, I remember that name. Hang on a second. Oh, this is you. So you got the... I didn't know... Why did I know this? Did I know this? Uh, I might have mentioned it previously because you have reviewed this roster. Uh, okay. This I forget before. stuff. Everybody go check out Aerith and Nerith, who is always in chat and is also Hex, a.k.a. Hex. Are you farming uh, Dr. Afra on the account? Yeah, I've already unlocked Dr. Afra on that account, so I'm... Uh kind of trying to expand a little bit and bring uh, bring Afra up so that her team can take on uh, Galactic Legends. Okay, right well, now, she's just a little bit too low to be able to handle them yet. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's cool. Everybody go check out Aerith, and Aerith wants to check it out too. We'll see what's going on over there. Are you streaming these Grand Arenas or just playing the videos? So far, just make recording videos. Hey, look, there's your mug. Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> there he is cool man we'll check it out all right what's got you choosing this background i see a washing machine that's oh, an oven in the background but that's uh, yeah that's uh that's my oven in the background oh i Not thought you're on green the screen that's that's my house <laughs> well you have bright colors in your kitchen dude oh yeah i've painted all of my walls incredible colors nice all right, everybody, go check out Aerith and Aerith. Well, there you go. There's your plug, sir. Thank you. All right, so what's going on? What's happening? 
So I've unlocked uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren out of the scout. I not sure where to push myself yet at this point though. I'm seeing uh, Executor is definitely an option. And I'm not too far away from Ray. And I'm also farming Geo Brood Alpha so I can get my Geo team up. And um, free to play? 99% free to play. I've thrown a little bit of money here and there to help me get to the seven star Executrix so that I can get my finalizer. Um, but no light speed bundles or anything like that. Gotcha. And was this your main account and you started up another account for the channel or how did that work? Yes, this was my main account. And it's been kind of hit and miss here lately because you've been busy making content and working on that one? Yes. All right. Trust me, I understand. Okay, so... You have four going, so I know exactly well, what you're doing. Well, <laughs> yeah, I've only got three going right now. But we'll, we'll talk about that in, in the future here. So anyway... I always think that finalizer into um, executor is a great idea, and I see that you got the tie bomber. Not really, that's a ways off yet. All of the uh, bam requirements are off by quite a bit because oh. I don't have Arjun or IG eleven up there either. Mandalorian's only five stars, so it's it's a direction. But I mean, uh, my razor crest is at three hundred and sixteen out of three hundred and thirty shards. So once I get bam. It's almost like hit and go. Are you are you farming these guys then? Yeah, I am. Okay. Putting uh, my three resets into them, and then if I have at extra energy, I put them into resistance hero Finn and a resistance hero poke because I know that'll uh, meander my way closer to Ray. Yeah, because you said three resets. So you got Quill is on the tie bomber node, Mando's on his own. Kara or IG, Kara's in there. One of those two is in there with grief, right? IG-11 is with grief. Okay, all right. All right, well, it's just not going to be that long. It's two, three months. Man, not even that. A couple months. And then I also I also uh, do the 25 crystal reset for Queel so that the TIE Bomber farms faster. Okay. I mean, so Executor's going to be in... Ooh, how, where are you in Piet? Did you say that and I missed it? Uh, I actually don't even know where I am with Pet, Piet. All right. What's going on? Okay, hang on a second. We need to get some mods over on Twitch. I agree with that. I need to boot this guy. Hold on. Oh, Piet is beyond. I need to farm Piet. I have a hundred shards of Piet, so I really need to farm him up too. I'm just gonna block. Oh, that yeah, you you've got so. <laughs> All right, I got that guy blocked over on Twitch. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, um, yeah, you got to get Piet. That's a, don't forget that. <laughs> well, what else is going on? I mean, so I see that you so you farm Ky Kylo free to play, basically. You got Jenna Knight Revan, and you're going to get the Executor, but that's, uh, you're probably, I mean, you're probably only, two, well, maybe three months away from Executor if you do it right. So I think you'd be, you'd be well served to focus on that. And then after that, maybe CLS? Or are you doing yeah. a CLS first and then Executor? Or what do you think? Well, CLS um, has actually been doing really well for me. Uh, I don't even have Chupio at seven stars yet. And it's just been doing some pretty good holds. So I wasn't thinking of bringing Celia, CLS up just yet. But if he starts falling behind, I don't know if I should relic that team before I uh, get my Executor characters up there gotcha yeah so if you um yeah i mean that, i get a gear 12 cls team's gonna be really good i get that idea and but as soon as you get chupio you know seven star then you want to get that that assault battle done that's the challenge you could probably get you're probably getting through tier two with just this right now i would guess yeah i think i could get through tier two right all right, man. So Executor, CLS, that's like right in front of our face. What else is going on here? I see your Revens need to be kind of rounded out, right? Yes. I mean, that's the stuff you got. It's going to take you a little while to put together. How about Captain Rex and Phoenix? Have you looked at that at all? Uh, I don't think I've touched Rex at all on this account. You are correct, sir. You are correct. All right, how are your mods? I'm going to guess they're pretty good. Not great. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll be honest, I don't touch my mods nearly enough. And being off for a couple of months while I was uh, recording videos, that really hurt as well. Gotcha. If there's one thing we can say, everybody, make sure you touch your mods. I'm sorry. It's the way you said it was really funny. Sorry. All right, man. So give us some more thoughts here. So long range, we're looking at Executor, CLS, Revens. Um, and, and what else? What else in this roster? What's interesting about it? What am I missing? I feel like I could go for Ray because I do have most of the character for that one. And I saw a five star Radis. Oh, I think it's so you did buy the you bought the Radis bundle. Yes, I did get the Radis bundle. That was okay. the only one that I touched. Sorry if you said and that I'm earlier. Like, yeah. I'm like, Radis ships, they are an absurd amount of farming. So I'm like, yeah, we'll just cut that off. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I honestly, looks like just the resistance heroes is all you really need on this. I don't think Ray yep. would be a bad idea at all for you. Honestly, I, I think you'd be in really good shape for that. Um, so maybe that's what you do after you get all those other teams done. So round out first and then poke towards Ray with the extra energy. Yeah, 100%, man, 100%. Perfect. All right. Now I have direction. There you go. So I, I'm sure you told me before, but give me your Star Wars story and your Galaxy of Heroes story. Um, Galaxy of Heroes, I played way back in the day and then I got rid of that account or just lost interest because, you know, as a teenager in school, there was bigger games that you could play for a lot longer. As an adult now can invest nearly as much time so and uh star wars story i grew up with uh with with my dad being a star wars fan uh star wars blanket and pillows and darth vader was just an iconic character we yep. always grew up with yep that i mean yeah it sounds very similar to all of us it's all kind of the same thing so man um what else give us some advice here so Talk about your roster. Tell us what's going on. Tell us what's happening. Or We talk about your roster. I mean, talk about the other roster and your channel. Give us a pitch for the channel. Um. Okay, so the intent for my channel was to see how fast I can get Dr. Afra, And I got her in just about over six months. And now the main goal for the roster is to farm up teams in order to take on Galactic Legends without needing a Galactic Legend. I like that. I like that. So what's your next step? Um, I am farming towards Starred Killer, uh, Executor, and I'm rounding out those two teams. And I have five stars on Princess Nisa, so my, I'm going to use her for my Ewoks to get my CLS team up as well. I have, <laughs> I have a whole bunch of characters at Relic levels because on that account, I ended up getting uh, several of the Lightspeed bundles. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Honestly, I'm probably going to be going towards gas relatively soon, too. Okay. What about, like, a Fennec team for Lord Vader's? I don't see Lord Vader as low as we are, so yeah. I'm not too concerned about getting that team just yet. Got it. Got it. I got you, man. I mean, it all makes sense. Um, so, I, 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 love, I love this roster. I love the fact that you got a channel. I've been exactly where you are with running a channel. I'm excited to hear about it. And I'm sorry that I, you know, have missed this in the past because I know you're always in chat as Aerith and you're always in chat as Hex. And if we've talked about it and I forgot about it, that is on me. But I really love the fact that you got the channel going and that you're putting out consistent content here. And uh, keep plugging, man, because it just takes a little time to build up an audience. But it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm really, it's, thanks for letting me know. It's it has been a lot of fun, and honestly, I can't blame you for uh, forgetting my roster. You look at, you know, how many hundreds of rosters every month, so it seems like that many. So uh, I can't blame you for blurring the lines between what rosters you look at. Right, right. Now, that I appreciate that. So, well, Hexman, any, any parting words for the audience? A uh, little bit every single day. We got 1%. you about... Seven subs what? there so far. We could get more than that. Just seven? Come on, guys. All right, anyway. 1% better every day makes you 365% better at the end of the year. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I guess it does. 1% better every day. Okay, never mind. My brain went to a, 
My see, I'm not a science and math guy, so I I was thinking like you were saying, a hundred percent a day. But yeah, one percent a day. Yeah, that would do it. That'll do it, my friend. Good luck. Make it happen. It's all, all right. for the children. Thank you very much. All right, Hex. We'll talk to you later, buddy. Until next time. All right. Sounds good. Bye. All right. That was Hex slash Aerith and Nareth on the channel. Let's go take a look at Adma. Adma's here. So yeah, we we got some spam bot over on Twitch. That's awesome. Just pick this time to drop in, say stupid things, and then drop a bunch of bots on us. So that's awesome. All right. Catman. This is Adma who won our Kahoot, getting a new roster going. Ooh, I like the Seppies over here. Let's go take a look at that. We just had his YouTube on the screen. It's right there. Aerith and Nareth. Everybody go find Aerith and Nareth and subscribe to Aerith and Nareth today. Help build somebody else that's doing something good for Galaxy of Heroes. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Do we have the Malevolence yet? No Malevolence yet. But I think certainly prepping for the Malevolence. Yes. I like that. I've literally never had a spam bot on, on Twitch until I just added mods. And it was probably that a-hole, pardon me, I'm sure it was that a-hole that came in and just saying nasty stuff that just dropped a bunch of bots on us. Amazing. Amazing. That was a real struggle for me when I first started YouTube. Uh, we had somebody in here just constantly spamming. It was crazy. It was crazy. Anyway, <clears throat> Hyena Bomber, Vulture Droid. I, I love it. I love this. And where's Grievous? No Grievous yet, but... Oh, there he is. Four-star Grievous. Adma! Are you out there on YouTube right now? Or Twitch. I don't care. Yeah, I would love to, uh, I mean, I love it. This is a good farm. It looks like a Jedi Knight Luke farm, and it also kind of looks like an executor farm, and those are two good farms to do. There is Adam, or Adma. Eh, maybe not an executor farm. Malkazel has made the stream. Master, 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 but I love it. Hyena Bomber with the... I love it. That's tremendous. You may get a new ship here soon. But we'll see. I, I feel like they're going to have some more Separatist ships coming out soon. They've got to. They've got to give Trench a fleet at some point. And they're going to need more ships for that. I'd hate to see the Malevolence just push to the side, you know? Any farming advice? Well, I mean, your CLS is great. I love Wampa. So you're not really farming toward Jedi Master Luke? Is that your Jedi Knight Luke? The CLS team is great. Uh, well, if you really add to that and round it off, you need to get some Ewoks. And what I would recommend is... Here's what I would recommend. You've already got the Zeta on Chirpa. I would... That's a later goal, 3PO. Well, I mean, 3PO will make that CLS team to really pump for you. These four and Elder would be the way to go. You could also farm Princess Nisa, who we're going to experiment with on my account later on. I mean, if you want farming advice, it's right here. You, you can build this team up into something really special. Hopefully that's Emperor's Trap. Yeah, okay. You can build this team up into something really special for you. You did not. Well, I guess you could have unlocked 3PO, but not. Yeah, okay. Jedi Knight Lucas later. Okay. This Imperial Trooper team. So the cool thing about this Imperial Trooper team, if you get this thing upgraded, is not only is it a good team for Grand Arena and other game modes, 
it gets you into two assault battles if you start getting these guys to gear 12 and relic levels and those assault battles will feed your roster with with relic material every single month and so that's i really recommend getting these imperial troopers upgraded this team veers in the lead yep and just keep getting that team upgraded i think it'll be that would do you a lot of good on this roster so the imperial troopers get your cls team finished get 3po up there as soon as you can with those finished finished uh ewoks so 3p on the cls team get your imperial trooper team upgraded um and what after that i always recommend people getting executor if you're pretty new to the game if you can get executor now you've got a lot of farming left to do here a lot of farming to do so i see that i know that you're finishing up your separatist fleets which is a great idea make sure if you're if you're getting get two currency i hope you are that you're farming the malevolence you need to get that malevolence and get grievous up you'll have this seven stars soon once you finish this the heine bomber or maybe just right now i would start farming for the executor the executor is going to help you in fleet arena a lot and that would mean you need the the tie fighter the tie advanced the tie bomber you also need to get in addition to slave one and hounds tooth you need ig 2000 and Zandu Blood and Razor Crest. So that's what I would really look at doing and work your way toward Executor on the roster, I think. So a CLS team, an Imperial Trooper team, an Executor. That'll give you a Bounty Hunter team as well. That'd be a really good way to start the game for you. And then you can push forward from there. Are your mods up to standard? Well, let's take a look. We got offense mods here at no. 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 Take these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up for dinner. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. First, you've got to fix your mods. No. That's one of the worst arrows I've ever seen on a character ever, ever, ever. Uh, I see your comment below, Average Lifter. I'll get you in a second. Here's what, I, here's what I need you to do. Here's what I need you to do. Um, Adam. I've got a mods playlist. It, you know, you don't, you know everybody learn, we all learn sometime. We all gotta learn somewhere. It's okay. It's okay. Um... So, it's really weird. Like, I had a bunch of mods on Twitch, and all of a sudden, I start getting spammed. It's really strange. Really odd. Anyway, um, CLS never misses. What I want you to do is this. Uh, a couple of things. I got a couple of things for you, Adam Fisher. First of all, now that's not a bad mod, especially on, on Chewbacca. These are all bad mods. That, that's that's not a horrible mod. Yeah. So the thing is, you gotta have you gotta look for speed secondaries, okay? You gotta look for speed secondaries. So what I would say is, Adam, go watch my mods playlist, specifically mods 101. You just look it up. Nooch too good mods playlist. Nooch too good mods 101. You'll find it out there. There's a bunch of videos in there that'll got, walk you through it, and then you can also look up. How to mod. I've got a whole video on how to mod your Commander Luke Skywalker team. It'll help you out a lot. You'll learn a lot from that. Um, so look up those that the mods playlist and how to mod your CLS team. I got a short out there for how to mod Wampa. So go look up those things. That's gonna help you a lot. Um Wampa really wants to be modded for health rather than offense. Just FYI, how would you how how high would you gear up the Imperial Troopers? I usually take what I usually say is, if you get Piet Relic and Dark Trooper Relic, the other ones can be Gear 12 and you'll be okay. That's why you, how I usually do it. So, I would definitely work, your mods are substandard, but you can always, there's always time to improve them. Go check out all my mods content, it's going to help you a lot. I love your Separatist fleet farming. Definitely go get the Malevolence over. multi is subscribed with Prime! Thanks, buddy, I appreciate that. Um, definitely work to get that Malevolence, get into a guild that's doing Geo Territory Battles. And get the malevolence and get that done. And there you go. There you go. Uh, let's see. What do you do? Hey, Nooch, love your video the other day about Xana priorities. 
Love to see more like that. Or other teams like CLS Gas, etc. I'm, I'm clueless. Cause, yeah, we gotta do that. I got more of that coming for sure. Below average lifter. That, that's gonna be a series. We'll we'll talk about Ma or uh, um, you know, 20 more Zetas you don't need. We'll, we're gonna keep that series going for sure. The same way we're doing all these top tens and everything else. That series will keep going. All right, Adam. I'm glad I could make your day better, buddy. I'm glad I could make your days better. TJ, let's take a look. We got to get into some reviews here because we're already two hours in and I've only done five or six reviews. Hey, let's. All right, we're, we're in beast mode now. We're in beast review mode now, everybody. Here we go. Let's get this on the road. TJ, Dr. Cock, Cocktopus. Cock. Cock. Like, cock. Cock. That. Let's keep it there. Let's keep it above board, everybody. Dr. Cocktopus. Nordic Kingdom lightsabers. We got Kylo here. No ultimate on Kylo yet. That means you just unlocked him and you're working on it. It looks like a bundle farm. It is a bundle farm. We got the Ray bundle. We got the Shadows the Empire bundle. We got Wampa down there. We got Captain Rex being worked on. Over in ships. We've got Executor at six stars. Get that thing to seven. Six star Executor sucks. Whiplash, see the video that is in the pinned message that will tell you. Oh, there's no video in the pinned message anymore, is there? You get a video link in there. Hold on. You can also see the entire description of the video talks about how roster views work. Whoop, there's my folders. I will pin that. There's a... All right, I got to get these reviews done. We got to get moving. So I know you might say to head for Ray, but I'm only side farming her for stuff. I don't like her character. My goal is to have fun. And she makes it not that way. Well, fine. All right, get your executor to seven stars. That's the first thing I'm going to say. And let's look at your first order here. Uh, definitely get work on your fine ledger to seven stars. As soon as you get the tie slime, you got an executor counter in there. That'd be a good thing to have. What else we got in ships here? So I guess I won't tell you to farm Ray since you don't want to farm Ray. He just hates Ray. I mean, I don't know. Right! I'm just saying. Uh, how about those? You got Star Killer in there. So, how about Jedi Master Luke? If you're if you're gonna go for another character, what was I gonna look at? It's this. I'm gonna look at your Imperial Troopers too. They're not that great. A Relic Dark Trooper would be a great thing for your roster for sure. And uh, get Colonel Stark up to gear twelve. Um, that, you don't have range trooper at all, so Colonel Stark would be a great add in there. Your item team is fine. Whatevs. Now. If we don't go for Ray, I'm going to say Jedi Knight Luke and Jedi Master Luke. That's what I'm going to say. Here's Wampa. And there's Hermit Yoda. I'm going to say Jedi Master Luke and Jedi Knight Luke. So if you're not going to go for Rey, you got all sorts of stuff for Jedi Master Luke and Jedi Knight Luke to get Jedi Master Luke unlocked. They're two great characters in the game for you. And you really want to farm some more Jedi alongside them. Do you have Old Republic done here? No. You're cl uh, uh, not that far from getting some stuff done here. Honestly, if you... It wouldn't hurt you at all to farm the Mission and Zalbar node and Jolie Bindo node every day. You put uh, Jedi Knight Luke with, with Jedi Knight Revan. And then eventually Jedi Knight Revan with Jedi Master. But Jedi Knight Revan, Jedi Knight Luke is a great combo. And it's also an assault battle combo. Again, we're always on those assault battles. So think about that. You get the Jedi Knight Luke and, uh, yeah, Sharding Revan. Good, good, good. So that's what I would say. Jedi Knight Luke, get Jedi Knight Revan. Get your Jedi Master Luke. Go get some Assault Battles done. Upgrade your Troopers a little bit to get maxed out Assault Battles. Keep working Captain Rex like we're always talking about here on the channel. And uh, that that should be your next farm. And finish off your CLS team for sure. Savage Press would be a great finish for you too. 
Treo be a great a great farm for you as well. Those are some of the farms I can see that would really make a big difference on your roster. You're getting that ultimate here pretty soon. Those are the farms I can see would be a big difference on your roster. You need to work on these mods. You're definitely behind on these a little bit. Crit damage, that's a nice mod. That's an okay mod. That's not a great mod. That's not a great mod. But you, it looks to me like you realize what your great mods are and what your great mods aren't. So you're working on this and you're fixing your mods. One character time. Start at the top. Filter your way down. Start with Kylo Ren. Filter your way down with your mods. I love your mod work here. I love the effort and the way you're putting these mods together. It's really, that's a good show. That's a good show, man. 166 is a lot of speed on Piet. I, I mean, I would consider with your roster, I might just throw this over on Kylo, honestly. And I might throw this over on Kylo. I mean, you want Kylo to be, your roster features Kylo. That's your main thing right now. So I would probably get all this, as much speed on Kylo as possible. And, and make him done, and then work on Pia. That's what I would do. Just just one man's opinion. One man's opinion. Everybody got me a little bit yesterday to say, oh, you want defense mods over health mods? That's fine. Okay, I'm fine with that. It's a good mods, but really 6 dot is better for him. You get both the Zetas, Bosk, Zetas. See, let's dismiss the Zeta. I hope that it is his learn control good. That's where you want it to be. You got off I think I think you're on the right path with your mods. They're in good shape. This roster is in good shape too. You've done a really good job putting it together. Um hey, thanks for the help over there, G dub, mole. I appreciate that help over in Twitch Ice. Yeah, I mean, and you can anticipate that we'll have another light speed bundle here pretty soon. And that might help you to build your roster even more. But your roster's doing pretty good, TJ. You're in really good shape here. I'm saying Jedi Knight Luke, Jedi Master Luke, finish out your CLS squad. Uh, finish off your, your Captain Rex, your Imperial Troopers. Get all that up and running. You'll be in really good shape. Then it'll add a lot for you. It'll add a lot for you down the road and do some good things. Get the Executor to seven stars. Get Finalizer to seven stars. And get that Galactic Republic fleet up and running. And you can thank me later because your roster will start climbing in Grand Arena like nobody's business. And there we go. Like I said, we're in, we're in beast mode right now. Decur to her decur. All right, let's take a look at River, who is our other winner. Our final winner in the Kahoot today is River. Hang on. Hey, if you did not get in for roster reviews today, we will be doing roster reviews here on the channel the next two days. Reality Skew Gamers is raining with a party of 18 over on Twitch. Do I have anything for that? This is the way. Where are we here? This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Hello to all the Rangers folks. What's up, guys? How we doing over there? Welcome aboard! Ray, he always gets my name wrong. He just refuses to accept that it's not from Jay and Silent Bob. Do I have it in here? I think I do. It's from Return of the Jedi. Nutch Vader. Nutch Vader. Nutch Vader. What's my opinion on Tuscan Chief at 378 speed? Uh, my opinion is that's a lot of speed. I don't know what you're doing with that. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing with a Tuscan Cheat to a 378 speed. Probably doing really well on a Galactic Challenge every now and then. Welcome aboard to uh, Reality Skew Gamers viewers. Good to see you today. All right. River, River Song. Let's take a look here. Booze Blasters and Bounty. We got the Executor, who I love to see. How's that executor doing for you? River crazy I still care. Yesterday. Gotta finish up CLS and Imps for first. Do I go straight for Ray? 10 charge from the Radis. At Jurassic Garf Concern now in a Rhodium. Uh okay. When it uh, what about your executor? When is that executor gonna happen? Seven star executor? How's that doing for you in Fleet Arena? Is it good enough? What am I trying to click on here? I don't even know. Finalize. Let's look at the first order. Good job. Keep farming that tight echelon. 
and the special forces get that finalizer seven finalizer and executor to seven stars is a pretty big deal on any roster you know being able to counter the executor on defense with your finalizer and being able to put your executor back on defense and just let it sit there in grand arena makes a huge difference it also makes a difference for you in school and fleet arena to have the executor at seven stars so really take a look at at saving some crystals and putting that thing to seven stars as fast as possible that's what i would say there slkr yesterday huh where is he there he is i'll say it again boys and girls i know it's a different world now you know with the light speed bundles making everything go faster and you don't really get as much time to hoard gear and stuff hey rebel rx what's up um i that's a little too that's all that speed could probably be used elsewhere el Baca, yes uh, what I would say is get Kylo finished ASAP. That's your number one chore right now. Get all of his Zetas on him and get him to Relic as fast as possible. So what's next? You, you want to know what's next? CLS or go straight for Ray? You get first to your fleet arena. Nice. Nice. CLS or go straight to Ray? Well, you get all this stuff here. You got all, all the bundles. CLS, 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 CLS. You're a little ways away. The Chupio. Honestly, with the team you've got right now, Relic Fort, when there's no Zetas on CLS. You want to do, it binds all things in his leader. Do those two Zetas for sure. Chewbacca needs a Zeta or two. 3PO needs a Zeta. Chupio needs a Zeta. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, and SLKR needs three. So there's your problem. I'm going to say you don't really need to rush your way to Ray because you won't have any Zetas for her anyway. <laughs> but you don't have any Zetas regardless. So Zetas is a real challenge here, a real problem. Try to think here. CLS or Ray? Well, that's the choice, and those are your next two teams. You got your Star Killer done. CLS or Ray? CLS or Ray? Kind problem, a bulky. Welche Charakter kann schneller sein? Uh, ich weiß nicht, ich habe sein Raster nicht gesehen. So, ich, ich, uh, ich, ich will sein Raster sehen. Um, so, so Hilfe ich kann geben, ja? So, uh, hier, hier wird ich sein, wie, wie ich bin, uh, morgen und uh, Samstag. Uh, Samstag, so come here and I lost a review. Uh, I can, I can, I can, I can, I gibt a uh, lost review, so und und hilf sein roster, yeah. Good canal. All right, you're farming imps, yeah. You're a pure trooper, I, you're on the right path. I mean, I, I like your path. I'm gonna say. I'm going to say CLS first and Ray second. And I'm going to, I, I'm doing this again for assault battles, right? You really want to crush that assault battle. You want to knock out that ass it, CLS first. I said, wait for five minutes and I come back to German news. That's right. Hey, Lars, Baba Ganoush, what's up? Uh, you get your Imperial Troopers up. No range trooper, so it's not ideal. But your Imperial Troopers here, even if you, these guys, you get a Relic on Dark Trooper, you get getting up to gear 12, and you get Snow Trooper to gear 12, I guess. You could probably get to tier 2 of those, both those Assault Battles with Piet in there. So I would work on getting your Troopers up for Assault Battles and CLS up for Assault Battles, and then pivot over to Ray. Get those Assault Battles far, man. That's going to be, that's really important. And we don't talk about enough when I'm doing roster reviews, but not having those in, in your Phoenix, you know, you get Rex up so you can do that Secrets and Shadows at some level. I don't think Albakig even heard me. 
Er hat nicht gehört. Wo sind meine deutschen Freundin? Bist du hier? Kein Sprache? Kein Worten? Lass mich hier! Von meinen deutschen Freunden! Lass mich hören! Lass mich hören! Hör! Von meinen deutschen Freunden! Alright. Um, I'm gonna say CLS, Troopers, and Ray. And that's gonna feed you a couple of assault battles that can really do good for you. We'll look at your mods. We'll look at your mods, River. Take her easy. It's okay. It's gonna be. It's gonna be okay. Uh, that's okay. You're, that's okay. I like Mar at the top. And by the way, I would highly recommend the Omicron on Mara for TW. Does your guild use uh, Palpatine and Mara in, in Territory Wars? Because she's a really great Omicron for Territory Wars. You could use some more speed on the roster. I mean, but I'm sure you're working on it. It's a highly... Um, yes, Danka. El Bokig. There's a link for a roster reviews. I'll give it to you. This is how to get a roster review. On Twitch, this is how it works. And I'll send, I'll put this. We're, we're full up today. Kind mea, kind mea hoita. No more today, but that's how it works on Twitch. I was speaking Dutch. You didn't understand a word, but it was getting better. And thank, thank you, Alan. I appreciate that. It takes me a minute to get warmed up sometimes. Crispy, yeah, I'll give you the link too. I'll put the link in chat here. Why do I keep clicking on my folders? There's the link for how to get a review. Um, keep working your mods. You know, I think you're in good shape here, River. I like your roster. I think you're really going to like doing those two assault battles and getting them done. I would keep working on Rex as well, and then do Ray after you get the after you get CLS and the troopers done. Then do Ray. I really would recommend though, as far as your Imperial troopers, Stark is better than Snow Trooper, um, and he's really easy to get. You can farm Stark with your raid your raid Mark One currency. So I would go ahead and get Stark. You put Stark in with these four. You get everybody to at least gear twelve. You want a relic on Dark Trooper, and Veers' lead has to be oh my god, so you're good there. Um, and you're going to get those assault battles done. That'll be a big ad for your roster. You do Shore Trooper for the pre taunt Yeah, that, Shore Trooper's not a bad idea either. In either one of those, actually. Because those Ewoks and uh, the, the Rebel Fighters can really do some damage to your troopers. So, Shore Trooper can be a big ad there. Um, I'm just kind of... If you do Shore Trooper, you probably want to replace... Gideon with range trooper and you don't have range trooper Stark at minimum So I would still farm Stark It's it's a it's a raid one mark one currency from raids to get Stark. It doesn't cost you anything There's no extra farming. It's not gonna waste any energy So go get Stark and you'll you'll, you'll want to sub him in for Gideon in those assault battles so And the assault battles possible that's Piet if we're also at gear 12 I don't think Piet at gear 12 is gonna get those assault battles done if you guys want to watch the hey Jar Jar Binks, it's toot me a lie. Does he kind? Yeah, liar! You're either lying or you use Google Translate. Hey Robert Freiberger, just subscribe. So uh, I don't think the Piano Gear Twelve is gonna get these salt bells done. But if you guys want to watch, I'm gonna be starting a new account here on May first on the channel. There'll be updates on it soon. We're gonna next week. I'll have like a video out as to what that farming path is gonna be, and we're gonna be starting that path here on the channel so make sure to pay attention i'll tell you what it's going to be this job is going to finish up here in the next you know 10 weeks 8 to 10 weeks at most and then we want to get something new started so pay attention to the channel as we get that new farming started we're gonna have a lot of fun together and we'll talk about those assault battles and how that's going to work on the new account so there you go i mean that's my advice there but you do need to keep keep working your speed mods you're not in bad shape at all your roster's in good shape you got some really good stuff ahead of you River. I'm glad you won today, River. I know you're here all the time. Hey, Juggernaut is followed over on Twitch. Thank you, Juggernaut. I appreciate that. All right, Caitlin, let's see what you got. Caitlin! Ein Gildat, keinen Namen. 
Hier ist mein deutscher Freund. Alright, Kyber 4, Executor. Now, this is the cool thing. You can get to Kyber. Kyber, I, I, I think that, like, Kyber 4 and 5 is the new uh, Rhodium 2, right? Um, so, we got Executor at 5 stars. We got Malevolence. We got Negotiator. Noise. Pretty good. Not exciting, but pretty good. Your first five are all right. These five. I don't know about the rest of it, but that's okay. Supreme Leader. There's Jedi Cal. Look at that guy in all of his glory. Beatty. Stip. Stim. Stim, Beatty. All right. Um, Janet Revan, Star Killer. Of course, we got Seer. We got Captain Rex for the. We got Marin. Of course, we got Marin. Seal's Night Sisters. Noise. Very nice. Fennec Shan Relic 8. My goodness. Holy cow. Caitlin, are you here, Caitlin? Oh, there she is. Good. Okay. All right. What's with the Relic 8 Fennec Shand? Tell me about that. I don't think I've noticed that before. That's a big, beefy Fennec Shand. Probably for platoons? Need a Relic 8 for that? I really don't know. I mean, you got a nice little uh, Lord Vader counter here. I bet that works for you really well with a Relic 8. Yeah, she's doing some damage, my friends. That's a nice Fennec. I like that. I know I've seen your roster before, and I guess I'm, I just... I maybe missed that, or maybe that's new. That's pretty cool. All right, so Jedi Cal. Got our Rebels. We got our Shadows the Empire bundle. Well... Basically for Vader. Yeah, it's nice. That's nice. If you got Jedi Cal, then why not get Jedi Master Luke, right? There's Hermit Yoda. So you got some work to do. I don't see Rolo or Captain Han Solo anywhere. Ugh. CLS sucks. Here's the thing, Caitlin. If you've got Jedi Knight Cal, I'd be going for Jedi Master Luke. He is the lifter for Jedi Master Luke. Just like Ben Swallow for Rey. Just like Maul for Lord Vader. Just like uh, Cat for Jedi Master Kenobi. Kind of like Boosh for Jabba. Like Drogon for Leia. He is the lifter for Jedi Master Luke. And so I would be going for Jedi Master Luke on this roster if you got, you know, if you got, since you got Cal in there. 
So that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But Jar Jar Binks says he can write German but not speak it for some reason. I don't understand. No, no, no. Not Jedi Master Kenobi. Jedi Master Luke. You're gonna go for Leia first? Well, you're way off from Leia. Like, you don't even have CLS done. Oh, they gotta get him done for Jedi Master Luke, too. Golden Holden's work, Lurgan. Pretty tough with that CLS and Han Solo. Chewbacca should be easy for you, though. Conquest lurking mythic. <laughs> you can see through that's my CLS team's a charger for him. Okay. I think that's the right path. I think you're well past due for a CLS team on this roster. I get the struggle. But I think that, yeah, I think you're you're well past due for a CLS team on this roster. Hey, Tom Hatton. So I think that that's the way to go. I know you're farming Treya up there. Um, you, you grieve is something you work on, you know, but I don't think you have malevolence yet. I mean, there's Tarful, there's your range troop. Let's go for those Imperial troopers. You, nine, Relic 9 Piet, nice. I bet that you are, are you finishing both of those um, Assault Battle Tier 3s with these Imperial Troopers? I think CLS is the way to go, and I think you gotta get get it done, this roster. Work, work your way to Jedi Knight Luke and get Jedi Master Luke. I would be farming for Jedi Master Luke here. You have Super Commandos, Ely, what? Super Commando. That's a Mandalorian. Wow, look at that. That's kind of hot. Are they troopers? No, I didn't think so. Hey, Muffin has resubscribed. Thanks, Muffin. Welcome back, my friend. Hey, see you, Mole. Um, you relic them for the gas gun. I think it's that's fun. So you're really so you really like counters. So you're finding counters. You relic Fennec for the Lord Vader counter. You relic these guys for the gas counter. I like that. That's fun. That's fun. Um, I would definitely look at Jedi Master. Now I know that you're probably. Right around the corner from Ray as well. Ray's a faster trip than Jedi Master Luke for you. So I would work on your CLS team, but I would probably try to get Ray done and then go to Jedi Knight Luke and Jedi Master Luke after that. You, you mean Ray is low hanging fruit here for you? You just need to relic scavenger and get these two relic and get a five star Radis and you're there. So it's got to be Ray. And then you hate... Oh, you, did you say you hated Ray? Somebody else... Who else hated Ray? Does everybody hate Ray today? What's up with the Ray hate? Ray! Why does everybody hate Ray today? You bought the bundle? I mean, you hate Ray, but you bought the bundle. How is that my fault? <laughs> I know you didn't say it's my fault. I'm just saying. 
she sucks as a character in the movie and the game. She doesn't suck in the game. She does not suck in the game. Anyway, I would... Uh, if you don't want to do Ray, I guess just do CLS, Jedi Knight, Luke, Jedi Master Luke. I think that'd be a great path for you on the roster. Let's look at some mods here real quick. And we got to get this, keep this thing moving here. It's okay, are Looking good. Let's go down to here. Yeah, you got a lot of speed, Caitlin. Max the Cool, I put a video up a little bit earlier. Look up in chat. There's a video about how roster work, roster views work. Oh, yeah, I've got you here. I got you at five minutes. You can jump in voice chat, but you get a five-minute review. So just be aware that, you know, if we're talking a lot, it'll eat into your review. Um, yeah, we, we I can got you up next. That's fine. So, I mean, I like your mods. I like the roster, Caitlin. I would, if you don't want to do Ray, I guess I would do the Luke and go that path from there. But Ray would look really nice on the roster. Or upgrading some Imperial Troopers. Um, just be aware of that. So, anyway, Caitlin. Welcome back, Caitlin. Good to see you. Nice mods. Really nice mods, by the way. I'm very impressed. You beat her every time, even with Ben. Congratulations. You're the wiener. All right, Caitlin. Nice roster. I like your I like your extra relics and some of these characters that are getting you over the top. Probably Relic 8 Star Killers helping you beat her, too, but... I like the extra relics you've thrown in there. I like your Night Sisters. They're pretty cool. Are you countering Jabba with those Night Sisters? I don't think so. They're kind of low relic. But cool stuff here, Caitlin. Nice roster, as always. All right, Max. So cool. I'm going to look up your roster. Are you in voice chat? Yes, I am. Good afternoon. Yeah, there you go, Max. Hang on a second. You're kind of... It sounds a little distant, but it sounds like you're at work, maybe. Yeah, sorry about that. The service ain't that best out here. Yeah, that's no problem. No problem. All right, Max. So we're going to get this timer started. Go ahead and get. just tell us what's going on. What's up with the roster? What are we looking for? So I'm kind of just grinding a lot. I mean, I kind of got my Revens up there, realized that I had a Relic Revan to be able to unlock Malik, my Jedi Knight Revan. My Darth Revan at Gear 12 did just fine. I'm kind of slowly working towards getting everything ready like my ewoks for three ps and i can put a bunch of focus into jedi knight luke after i get um supreme leader kylo ren because i'm just waiting on the finalizer otherwise i'm all good with that and then i've also kind of started working on ray trying to get her ready just to go after ray because i'm also doing the um what's the ship called the radis Yes, thank you, the Radis. So I was kind of just looking for some tips to see what else to work on after those three little projects. So my initial tip would be to pick one of those projects and take it to completion and then do the next one. So, and I, I you know, you got to plan it out, but just make sure you're not like trying to do three of them at once, right? Like I can see both Revens here. And I think that's a great idea. But then you also mentioned the e story. Are you sharding the Ewoks in the background to get them all ready for 3PO? Yeah, I'm using all of my energy on the Ewoks at the moment. Okay. Well, now, you should only need energy for Wicket, really. Um, you mean, you mean like, because Paplu, Logray, and Ewok Elder are all available in the uh, Guild Activity Store from your raid currency. I actually, I know this isn't really the norm, but I'm going to try to put in Princess Kinesa instead of Elder, okay. if that's a good way to do it. I, it is. I've heard it's a great way to do it. And I'm going to be testing it out myself in the future. I'm just not there yet. So I love that idea. And that'll that'll save you some time. So that's just a couple of farms there. So that's Wicket and then Princess Nisa to get you going there. Uh, let's see what else we got. So we talked about the Revens. We talked about CLS. And I would definitely slow down in gear 12. Don't just keep gear 12 in characters. Like I can see you have a lot of characters here that are one gear piece away from gear 12. That's not really going to help you out to gear 12 them. So... Just save that gear. You're better off just hoarding it and waiting for, uh, you know, to take a whole team to gear 12. So what I would definitely do with this roster is since you've got your Sith Empire, you know, almost done, I would finish that team for sure. You're working on Darth Malak and getting his charge probably with that get to the Mark II currency and get two currency. So 
Darth Revan, Bass, LaShawn Fawn, and Darth Malak is a great team to finish. You could put HK in that team, but just the three of them makes an automatic good team. When we look at Dar our Genonite Revan, it's Genonite Revan, it's Bass, LaShawn, Jolie Bindo, and Grandmaster Yoda is the team there. So I'd look at finishing those teams off for your roster. They're going to make a huge difference for your roster, and they're both going to contribute in a couple of assault battles too. Then we look at the CLS team. You got CLS, Han and Chewie are done Needs at seven stars anyway. And you mentioned that you're still farming for Ewoks. So that's going to be down the road for you a little bit. So what I would say is Darth Revan, then your Jedi Knight Revan squad. And then I probably would do your Ray since you're right around the corner from it here. Um, you got to get... Oh, yeah, you're pretty close to Ray for sure. So I would, I would, you could do all three of those, but I would focus on... Let me, I'm going to back up and back up the train a little bit. Relic your BB-8 first. Okay, before you do anything else, Relic BB-8 and work on the Relic levels for that to get Ray done. Okay? Then All you're right. going to work on your Darth Revan team. Revan, Malak, and Bastion. By the time you get that done, you may have Malak up at seven stars by then. Get that team done with all their Zetas. And then you go over to the Jedi Knight Revan squad. And then you pivot to the CLS squad. And you should be in really good shape by the time you get done with all that. All right, sounds good. I got that all written down, and I'm going to go from there. And then once you get done with that, and maybe even right now, start farming for the Executor. Let's take a look at the Empire. So start farming today the Imperial TIE Bomber, because you've already got all the other ships here. You've got the, um, you got to get Razor Crest up, but you've got the other ships. So start farming TIE Bomber today, and if you can farm it twice a day, do that so that your next farm will be Executor somewhere in there when you're mixing all that up, because that'll get you a great fleet. To have on defense and grand arena as well okay all right sounds good thank you for all the advice i appreciate yep. it we still got 30 seconds buddy so we're gonna look at some mods don't go anywhere yet all right i'm staying right. put i like your mod set on darth revan but you definitely need to work on speed so keep working on speed keep pushing forward on the speed mods you know make this happen and uh yeah just keep working on speed on the roster because you need more speed i can see if you even upgraded some mods that don't have speed on them so be careful of that and if you haven't watched my Mods 101 or my Mods playlist, go check it out because it'll help you really understand even more about how mods work and, and how you need to get them going, okay? All right, I'll go ahead and go watch those videos now. All right, Max, thanks for joining me, buddy. It's good to meet you today. Good today. Hey, good to meet you, too. Thank you for all the advice again. I appreciate it. All right, no problem. Yeah, Whiplash. So I appreciate the Master Tier. Let's give you your intro because you are here on the stream. Welcome to another Master's member. There you get to watch Mon Moth and I get Relic. So Whiplash, yeah, I do fill up. You know, I can't... Um, the, the challenge with roster reviews, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, I just can't take them forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever in every stream because I have, you know, we're, we're here. I'm already here two and a half hours in. You know, and I've still got three more reviews to go through here. We might spin the wheel for a couple as well. It's just tough. I know you pay for the master tier, um, but I'll be here the next two days. I'll be here for the next two days doing roster reviews. Guys, if you are a member at the master's level, you can also hit me up. If you DM me on Discord or you can even email me at neutralego.gmail.com, I can get you a private review. Your master's membership can fund a private review where I will just record a review. You'll, you'll, you'll DM me, tell me what you want to see. I'll record a review for you. I'll put it out there on, on YouTube in a link that's all yours. I'll send you that link. So you can get a, if you can't make the streams, hit me up for a private review, and I'll get that to you as well on the master's level. Okay, Whiplash? Yep. Uh, well, this, yeah, this Saturday is when Grand Arena is active. It's Saturday. Now, I will tell you guys this. Here's something that the next round of Grand Arena, so next week, I'm not signing up Star Wars Dad, my free-to-play account, I'm not signing it up for Grand Arena. And the reason being, I'm trying to get Star Wars Dad and Nuge 2 Lightspeed to match up in Grand Arena, but the scores are not jiving right now. So the scores on those two are off, and I have to take a, a round off with Star Wars Dad to try and get the scores where they'll line up and I get those two rosters to hopefully match against each other. I'm trying to do that. Yeah, private user still $20 or a master's membership. That's correct. So you can either join at the Masters level on the channel, or you can join on Patreon. That's another option for you. There's a couple ways to join, so. Yeah, I like 5v5 better. I just do. Uh, TBs are not permanently jacked up. They're just messed up this time. Is the reason you generally recommend Jedi Jam Master Luke over Jabba? Yeah, the reason I end, end up um, doing that Ruth Vader, Ruth Vader Ginsburg is because 
A lot of people bought that Shadows of the Empire bundle, and the Shadows of the Empire bundle is kind of a mini Jedi Master Luke bundle, honestly, a Jedi Knight Luke bundle. You get Lando in there, you get Princess Leia, you get Biggs and Wedge. Yeah, Biggs and Wedge. Those guys are required for Jedi Master Luke, so a lot of people have bought that bundle. So for them, it makes more sense to go to Jedi Master Luke if they haven't farmed this stuff for Jabba. So that's why I end up recommending Jedi Knight Luke and Jedi Master Luke a lot for these rosters. So they bought that bundle, and it gets them a really good portion of the way toward... Um, yeah, that's no, 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 no. You're fine, Whiplash. Totally fine. You're totally good, dude. Yeah, I didn't mean that in any way at all. Just explaining how it works. I know, you know, it, it's confusing. We do a lot around here. So, no, no. You're you're totally good, Whiplash. And you can always DM me on, on, on Discord if you have any, any questions or anything else. I'm always available. Chewy, are you there? Let's take a look at Chewy's roster. Either way, you'll lose rank. No, 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 no. I'm not going to get any rewards. It, no, that's not the problem. That's not the problem, Big Ninja. The problem is that my two accounts are one are one victory apart. So, the, and the problem is, no matter how I do it, I'll always be one victory apart. Because I need them to be two victories apart. One win, one loss. One win, one loss to match them up. But right now, they're one victory apart. So one win takes me to here, but then one loss takes me back down to here. Then one loss takes me to here, and one win takes me to here. And I can't ever get them to match. So I need to take a whole round off. I need to take a whole round off. Yeah. I got to take a whole round off. And then, because then they'll be four apart, I hope. That means I either need to go one and two... Or 3-0. and oh. <laughs> It might be a very light Grand Arena week next week, guys. Just just a heads up. Because I it is really a goal of mine to get the two accounts to, to play each other in Grand Arena. I really want to get that done for you guys. So, Hey, Chewy, lurking. Can we start looking at some of my higher character mods? Okay. Oh, let's get ready to rumble! Some of your higher character mods. Scream Leader Kylo Ren. It looks like the right mod set initially. No. You want to get... Um, you want to you feed his offense here. Uh, yeah. You want to have crit damage here. And offense here. I like the speed. It's okay. Some of it's really good. Like this is really good. That's where you want to be. Yeah, you want to get more... You want to try to get everything to 20 speed, and you want crit damage and offense. You just want him doing as much damage as possible. That's what you want. Now, if we look at General Hux, he's your next fastest, which on this roster might make some sense. We'll look in a moment. Did you really just ask me to look at this? Can we, um... Chat. Anything to say before I uh before I jump in there? Does chat have anything to say before I jump in there? You haven't touched Hux yet. I gotta declare out my sinuses. We'll let chat give deliver you a message before I deliver it. Hang on. Uh, my friend, <laughs> it looks like someone needs to touch their hucks. <laughs> Take these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up before dinner. But I was going into Tasha Station to pick up some power converters. First, you've got to fix your mods. <laughs> something, something speed sets. <laughs> Fast with health primaries is a totally acceptable way to be less scary. It's CD and offense and match is sustaining. Ah, I, I like him better with offense. And I've always had good luck with him. <laughs> <laughs> you just learned. You know what, Chewy? That's right. We all learn mods at some point. I'm glad you've been watching the videos. Um, so <laughs> this is wrong too. But that's okay. You just said you're gonna have everything wrong. You let us know. Look. 
At the start of battle, if there are no Galactic Legends, all allies are Jedi. All other, all, all other allies gain 30 or offense equal to 30 times their speed. Double da 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 da. So you could go with speed on Qui Gon, Qui Gon to get him some extra offense. It's either a speed set or an offense set. So this isn't a bad set. Is it all other? All other allies instead gain offense equal to 30 times. So you want offense on Qui Gon because when he is defeated. All allies gain 400% of his offense for two turns. Yeah, it's just fun. We're just having fun, too. You looks like you're having fun, too. So, so an offense set here on Qui-Gon's a good idea. And, but then again, it's not really that... It's not really much of a speed set, honestly. So, you don't really need him going fast for any specific reason. Just get up as much offense on him as possible. Then do you have Jenna Anakin relic? Okay, good. Uh, if you could add... I would get Anakin... Wow. Take these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up for dinner. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. First, you've got to fix your mods. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, you've got, with Qui-Gon's Omicron, you've got an entire Grand Arena team right here. You want an offense mod set or a crit damage mod set. That's where you want to be. That's where you want to be. Okay. This is pretty rough. This is pretty rough. That's okay. You, you you said, you openly said you didn't understand mods and you just started working on them yesterday. I get it. This is the recommended mod set for Vader. I don't like this mod set for Vader. I never have. I get, I get the speed. Get out in front. I like to have him doing as much damage as possible. Great damage and offense, so. Here, okay. I have a video for you. This is your video. This is your video. Right here, Chewie. I don't know if you saw it or not. That is step by step how you can fix your mods on your roster. You're going to start off with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, fix him, pass him down to Hux, pass him. Qui Gon does. Qui Gon should not be up here. I, Qui Gon does not. Qui Gon does not. Oh, you're in a noob short. I already wrote it down. So. <laughs> I have foreseen you in a noob shot. <laughs> Hello, stinky. <laughs> You're going to be in a noob short, my friend. You're going to be in a noob short. Um, what about farming here? So, finish your Chupio. I see Han. Uh, this is really out of whack. I'm scared to look. Okay, good. Woo! Oh, except mods. Wow. So really the ideal set on Yoda. That's an interesting mod. Where can we put that? Not here. It that this mod does not go here. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh this is so great dude i'm so glad you're learning the game i really am i'm so glad you're learning the game look yoda gives everybody on the team tenacity up you don't need tenacity on yoda it's he is a tenacity machine so, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so awesome. <laughs> this is so awesome. 
Uh, I should put you into a roster mania video. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny, dude. This is so funny. Hang on, do I have it? Where is it? Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Oh my goodness, it's so funny, man. So funny. I mean, th that's the deal. Look. Holy cow, how many of these do I have open right now? Sorry, buddy. That is a lot of info right in the face. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Oh my goodness, there's more. And we got to follow. <laughs> all of the all the memes dropped at the same time. Um yeah, you don't need tenacity on Yoda. He he generates tenacity for two turns, like every other turn. He is Yoda constantly keeps tenacity um, buffs on the entire team, the whole battle. So you don't need tenacity. You need speed and offense on Yoda. Where will this? I don't know where this goes. It seems like a mod that would go somewhere. What's Chewie's profile picture? I can't even see it. Is that, uh, is that, um, oh, it's, it's, um, it's Squidward and, um, what's his name? Barnacle, not Barnacle Boy, Mermaid Man, Squidward, Patrick, oh my gosh, all right, um, he definitely does not. I don't know where to put those mods, by the way. I don't know where. Probably those mods could go on like Chewbacca, but even you got a defense primary. So we're going to work on mods top down. Start working on your mods. Pay attention to the channel. Go look at my how to mod your CLS team. I got a whole video for how to mod your first order team. It's an old video, but it still checks out. So I got a video for how to mod your Geos. I got a video for how to mod your. A Phoenix, how to mod your CLS. Go check out all those videos for how to mod those teams. It'll help you out a lot. And then watch that video for how to fix your mods. As far as farming, I would finish off your CLS team. Um, you should be farming Captain Rex. You bought that bundle, you should be farming Captain Rex. He should be a priority on your roster. One character to make an end game team. Those Phoenix suck. Those Phoenix are absolutely useless until you get Captain Rex on the team. I would finish your, your Jedi team with Jedi Revan, Basila, Jolie, get their Zetas. Um, Chupio's there. Go get Chewbacca. So CLS team. Captain Rex. Okay. This is a good long term. I would probably start working on Ray long term. CLS team, Captain Rex. Jedi Knight Revan team, and that's Jedi Knight Revan, Jolie Bindo, Bass Lashon, and Yoda, Grandmaster Yoda. And those are the teams you should be working on right now. I would also start farming for the Executor if I were you. Which means you need to start farming the TIE Bomber node every day. You got the TIE Fighter, you need to farm that node, get it done. IG-2000, Razor Crest, it needs to be farmed every day in the Fleet Arena store. And that's what you're working on, Chewie. Hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully I helped you out. Big Ninja! I want to be Ninja! <laughs> oh boy. Go oh boy! Chop, 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 down, down. Chop my way to China. Have you guys seen that? <laughs> Alright, get her done, Chewie. Alright, Big Ninja! Cyber 4. What's up, Big Ninja? Seven star executor. Finalizer five stars. Anytime, Chewy. Oh, I enjoyed the mods. Don't worry about that. I stumbled my way to Kyber. I need help deciding either a profundity farm or more ground teams. Wait till you have CLS orange. Um, although you can help out. I don't know.
have you have you seen the Bobby Lee video where Bobby Lee is watching it with um, the other guy? That's what I'm talking about, not the video itself. Yeah, the video itself is a racist piece of garbage. It's just a racist mess. So, hey, get your finalizer seven stars ASAP. Start countering those executors. All right, Chewie. Kylo Mace. Were you one of the people that belittled me for saying stuff about Mace, Big Ninja? Because you appear to love Mace. Bad Batch soon, huh? You love Mace except for his mods. His mods suck. Those ain't no good. That was bad decisions from... Well, I don't think Mace is a bad decision. I mean... Well, you don't really have a Padme team now, do you? You have nowhere to put Mace. Where's he gonna go on this roster? Where do you put... <laughs> where do you put Mace on this roster? He's Relic H. You gotta use the guy. You have nowhere to use Mace Windu on this roster. Holy cow. Yeah, that is a bad decision. Hey, Lumar. I gotta agree, that's a bad decision. He goes with Starkiller. That's probably not horrible. I bet he's pretty good over there. How about I would I'm gonna look at his kit. Hang on. The uniques are the main things. His, his uniques aren't really Galactic Republic or Jedi dependent. So I can see him making some sense there. Well, if Target Ally is Galactic Republic, you're not going to have that. There's no Ufus in Galactic Republic. I can see that working as a, as a kind of a tank. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. I mean, for you, if, um, for your roster, it makes sense. I can see that. Cool Phoenix. What are you working on, Big Ninja? We got Spring Leader Kylo here. We got Resistance there. Seven, seven, six. Almost to Ray. Do I think there'll be a Mace Windu show? I wish they would do it. They they, they seem pretty. He's getting old. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson's getting old. When I, I did go see the Marvels. I'm one of the 20 people that saw Marvels, and it was a horrible movie. Man, there was one scene with fake crying. I don't even blame her. I think Marvel has really stuck it to Brie Larson, honestly. Um. But her her crying in this I remember the scene. It was like a like a junior high play. Somebody like fake crying. It was really bad. Anyway. Um what were we talking about? Hey, you're you're right around the corner from Ray. So Ray's Ray's next. Ray's mods are on resistance pilot, okay? You don't want to have good mods on resistance pilot? Everybody needs good mods on resistance pilot. I like that mod. I'm a fan of that. Yeah, this is perfection. Nice mods. You're in good shape there. You're in good shape. Profundity or gas after Ray. Okay.
done. Need some Zetas there, probably. Most likely. 500 first is done. Everything else needs work. Is Shakti farmed? Yeah, she is. Or Profundity. You ain't got no squid. Is the squid farmed? Because if there's no squid here, then you're just gonna go get gas. Well, he's using mace for the, the Starkiller team there, Stinky. Giga Chad says Melk. <laughs> uh, we have four sequel GLs, two prequel GLs, and two OT GLs. We need to reach. Yeah, I agree with that. Give me a Han Solo GL. I mean, when Ray and Finn meet him, they're like, you're the Han Solo? This is the Millennium Falcon? Yeah. How about like how about like a How about like a um Millennium Falcon GL? Like maybe that's the next ship and it goes with it just lifts home one, but like the farm is for like a GL Millennium Falcon or something. Haven't started performance got no hope in GAC with only executive. I don't well, you're, you're, you're You're in Kyber 4. What what more hope do you want, you know? The thing up here's the deal. Here's how the game works now. You you push your way through through carbonite, through bronzium, and we used to all get stuck in erodium. Erodium 1 to 3, like that was our our swinging point. Now they've opened up Kyber a little bit. Now we're all stuck in Kyber 3 to 5. And Kyber is kind of that hangout point. And you're just going to take beatings in there for a long time. You know, even going from Kyber 2 to Kyber 1, you can have all the Galactic Legends, you can have all the characters, but if they're all like Relic 5, you're not going to be able to get into Kyber 1. So the Kyber 2 is the cutoff. So I think you're going to go for a while kind of just kind of hanging out in Kyber 4. You're a ways off from really climbing a Grand Arena. So my recommendation is gas. And if you're going to think about profundity, that's totally fine. Start farming Adrad today. Like, if you haven't farmed Adrad at all, you're three months away. And, you know, so, um, I would, I would definitely go gas first. Gas and then profundity. Now, let me look at something here. And let's talk about something. The fact that you're in Kyber 4 with one Galactic Legend says a lot says a lot you're not going to advance out of kyber 4 with one galactic it's just i don't care if you have profundity or not that's not the problem so keep getting galactic legends you know you should work on jedi master luke next i i know i dog him all the time but he's a galactic legend then looking at leia as her as leia's farm becomes double sharp you already got nisa hold on drogan's only five yeah I would look at, at doing, like, Ray. I would look at doing Jedi Master, um, Luke, because that's a pretty easy farm with the pack, the bundle you purchased. And then I would look at doing Leia after that, you know, and then maybe Jabba down the road. So more Galactic Legends, and but start farming Adrad today because you need him on the roster to fill it. If you're going to go for Profundity, you'll need to have Admiral Raddus on the roster. So start sharding Admiral Raddus, do your gas, then do your Profundity. That's how you get this going. Hey, Blue Cow, how you doing? Long time. That's how you get it going. Try to get back to Kyber 1, Stinky. Stinky, what does your roster look like? I mean, I know I talk to a Deacon all the time. He's been trying to get to Kyber 1, and he's got everything. He's like at, he's like at 11 million or 10 million or something, and he just he cannot break out of Kyber 2. He's got a lot of a lot of data crimes, but it's, he doesn't have those Relic 7, 8, 9 across-the-board characters that everybody in one Kyber has, you know? So probably close to C also. Let's take a look. Yeah, Sith the Turtle looks pretty close too with just those three. Honestly, I gotta tell you guys. If you are at like five to six million plus, Sith the Turtle probably isn't very far away for you.
know what I mean? Like, yeah, gas hole first, then profundity, but get ad rat on the on the shard shard train. But yeah. I just think anybody that um hang on. Yeah, Charger Gasol. Get her done. And there you go. That's what you do, Big Ninja. Get it done. Chris Hardy, let's take a look at that roster. Super green. We super green. We super green. Howdy, Nooch. Hey, it's Chris Hardy. How you doing, sir? Good. How you doing? All right. Tell us about. I love. I love when I see Corbin. Whenever I always forget it, but when I see Corbin Dallas, it makes me a happy camper, my friend. <laughs> I'll tell you when I actually started playing the uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic. That was my uh, my trooper tank. It's Corbin, Corbin Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. That's the way to go, man. <laughs> you know, um, uh, what was that? What was his, the character's name? Um, I just, I mean, I see Chris Tucker. Ruby. Ruby Rod. Yeah, that's it. He is definitely yep. a tank. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is definitely a tank. Yeah. And he's not. He's not a tank. No. <laughs> he's more of a, uh, he's more of a support. He's more like a Jar Jar character, actually. He's a Jar Jar or he's a, maybe he's a freak, you know? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I love Fifth Element too. It's one of my faves. So, oh yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry. Right, so, what's up with the roster? Where you been? Where are you going? What's happening? Well, uh, since you did the uh, the private review for me last month, I have finished off. Uh, well, I was mid farm for CLS for the relics for them. I have finished Luke and Han already, and I've got five of the six pieces for Thruy. Uh So once I get him finish i will be full on to my executor awesome i love that um let's look at that executor then what about taking like a, a moment to get captain rex up in between well that was one of the one of the things that i mentioned in my uh wall of text was looking at all those other you said characters. you're working on it no what's that go ahead sorry go 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 sorry Oh, uh, um, was when I was looking at, you know, do I go get my Savage? Do I go get my Enfist? Do I fit, get my Rex up? Um, but every one of those characters is just adding extra time onto that executor uh, gap, right? So it's been, uh, like I said, once now that I'm at, I'm at uh, the mid game, quote unquote, right? Yeah. Um, just trying to deal with now that new things have opened up, you know, the, the hard conquest, the proving grounds, um, having the ability to go and get those teams that will do your assault battles, your galactic challenges, all those things, while trying to still do farms. That was one of those things I was kind of, I'm trying to like reconcile what you go after between, you know, doing a farm and, you know, taking a step back like I've done getting my Padme and my Wampa and my CLS. So, yeah, it's just, I'm I'm looking at it and I actually looked at uh, swiggo.gg to look at my executor and the gear is really getting close. I'm getting down to the wire for that now, but looking at it, the signal data and the circuit boards and the bronzium wirings are going are gonna to be my big bottlenecks now i'm looking at that i'm i'm wondering if i'm like six months out from that um but yeah that's while i work on all on the executor i try to always have three main farms that i do mm -hmm. i always try to have a team that i'm relicking and then i have a try try to have a team that i'm trying to take to gear 12 and then a developmental team that i take to say like gear nine so right now, my relics is all my executor people. Um, 
right now my gear 12 team would probably i would say be uh my imp troopers or maybe the night sisters um preparing them for assault battles and then while in the background of doing the executor i'm looking at probably trying to do uh the inquisitors and have them just you know progressing in the background well let's talk about the challenge of the inquisitors and it is that you have four left that need seven stars and three of those are on cantina nodes so um, yeah i thought it was fun uh ninth sister is on a regular energy node well I'm, maybe i'm wrong about that let's take a look let's see Uh, that doesn't help me. So, Seventh Sister is uh, regular energy. Oh, I thought, okay. Maybe I'm opposite. Fifth Brother, I think, is on a Cantina node. I think probably he is. I went opposite there, actually. Yeah, they're yeah. all... Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I My brain... I did it recently, and I just I just flipped. I actually just completely flipped in my brain where they are. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, you. But you still. That's going to be, yeah, probably three to this. That's maybe around a month of farming for fifth brother. Maybe a little bit less if you do it three times a day. Um, yeah. And that's a whole month where you can get you know signal data. So that's a that's the that's the challenge there and the trade off. Exactly. And like I said, from what I'm looking at, because. On a, any given day, I'm saying probably 10 to 11, maybe 12 of the white signal data a day. And, and like, that's not buying, you know, refreshes, obviously. Right. Um, so just to do that, I think you need like 600, I need 650-ish uh, white and then like 640 of the green and then like 375 of the blue. Yep. So like that right there is just like probably a couple months each. Right. So unless I start speeding that up, buying uh, refreshes every day, um, that's going to be something that's looking just for the executor. Uh, I was hoping to have it done in like three months, but yeah, I'm figuring probably it's more going to be like six months now. So let's, um, let's talk about that signal data then. So you've got your CLS team and they're going to be able to go to tier three of that assault battle. And I know we keep focusing on this, but you know, if you... If you would, instead of, if you would get your Imperial Troopers up, um, you know, you're going to have P at Relic 9, and if you get a team up for them, then you can start getting some Assault Battle rewards for them from a couple of Assault Battles. That's the thing that I've been thinking about, and that's why I, I wanted to get the uh, the roster review done, because I'm on that path that I've, been, that I've been farming, but I'm getting to a crossroads, and it's like, okay, do I start FYFing and getting all those Assault Battle teams and getting my Rex and all those other, those single off, one off people? Um, or do I go and get Mr. Rogers for uh, SLKR and the executor, uh, you know, in good old C? Or do I go and, you know, take the three characters that I need left for Jedi Knight Luke and then maybe start looking at Jedi Master Luke after I've done the executor? Who is Mr. Rogers? Sith Eternal? We call him Mr. Rogers. I've never heard that. Well, I call him I call him Mr. Rogers because he's uh, SLKR in the executor's uh, neighbor. <laughs> Hi, neighbor. <laughs> Won't you be my neighbor? I just threw my shoe. Okay, um, <laughs> I, that's a first for me. But I, I, we're, I think we'll probably leave that one with you. I don't think uh, I don't think people will relate. But I get it. I've I've said that I, you know, from the beginning. If you farm Kylo and you farm Executor, you've got Sith Eternal just sitting there, you know, and he's ready to go. So that's not a bad idea. Um, I just really like the idea of um, assault battles, you know? It's like, because we're talking about signal data, right? And Exactly, yeah. And that's one of those things I, I, I think more and more to, that I look at it. Um, continuing to FYF and get those assault battle teams on. Like you said, it's the uh, the Imperial Troopers, there's two of them done. If I go and do the Inquisitors next, there's another two done. So I'm already looking, I've got my SLKR, 
was a giant pain in the butt. Yep. But able to get that uh, Sith First Order one done in an hour. It's not pretty. You only get a one star, but you got it done. Right. Um, I'm going to be on board with that. So I, I think you should get Executor. I think it's important for your roster. Um, how long have you been yeah. playing? Uh, so last month was my year and a half mark. Okay. So you probably could still climb in Fleet Arena with an Executor, right? Well, that's where, like, when, when we were talking with the uh, the private review, I'm in that point now where my finalizer isn't quite cutting it anymore. I've got a few people in my fleet shard who are just, uh, they got their profundities already. One of them, I think, has already got both the executor and the profundity unlocked, um, which is interesting. But, um, yeah, trying to push into that top five every day is getting more and more challenging. So definitely... Getting my executor is my number one priority. And honestly, executor versus profundity is is not that different from executor versus executor. So exactly. Um, now, no. I would recommend if you, if you, since you're up against it, to save those crystals up and get that seven star executor as well, soon as you can. That's exactly what I mentioned. Why? Right. Sorry, is why I missed I that. As much information as I could in the private review, um, because when you did it for me, it was about five weeks ago now. I was just under 41,000 crystals. Okay. I'm now sitting currently at 55,500. Is that all? That's, yeah, that's all. You know, that's about uh, 15,000 in the past five Well, years. you're in good shape then. Yeah, you're in good shape. So, yeah, that sounds so, good. So that means that your your first executor, which will be, well, whatever you do your first executor, you you can seven start the second time through is what you'll be able to do. Uh, I'm hoping I'll be able to do it in one day. You can't. It cuts you off. Oh, does it? Yeah. So, oh, it won't, okay. yeah, it'll only allow you to go so far. I think it's like something like 15 or 19 refreshes. I saw, I saw something about it, yeah, being like 20 that you could do in, a, in, in. I was wondering what that was. I'm like, okay, now that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and I think, if I remember right, when I did Leviathan, because I, I hoarded crystals for that, I got it to six stars and like. 15 shards or something the first time and then yeah well yeah so i'm just i'm just thinking i'm just thinking of stuff here so so mm -hmm. i i would say that i i really think that executor is gonna be a big payoff for you as far as getting you know daily crystals so i do think you should push to executor but then i think you should start you're talking about these assault battle teams i think you should jump straight into assault battle farming after that and get all these things handled and then from there you can move forward to the next the next list. So, your Knights, Sisters, your Inquisitors, your Imperial Troopers, your Sith. So you can get that thing three stars. So you don't have to mess with it anymore. And then well, Jedi Knight one Luke is needed too. I'd so. rather deal with uh, getting Jedi Knight Luke before I do before worrying about that. Right. Why is Jedi Counselor Gear Twelve and Clone Sergeant? Uh, for the Negotiator Fleet. Okay. <laughs> Let me look. You're using the Jedi Counselor ship in there? Uh, he is. Um, currently, I think I have... No, I have the uh, the Republic Y-Wing in there right now in the the opening fleet. So he is one of the uh, reinforcements. Until you get the Bad Batch and Marauder ready down the road. So, yeah. okay. Yeah. But, again, that's not something that I've really been looking at because, again, looking at all the things that... All the paths that I could go down... That's something that's really on the back burner. Hey, I uh, feel the need for speed here, Chris, looking at your mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, again, going back to the crystals, that's part of the reason why I, I have so much is I know you'll probably give me grief for this, but I have not spent crystals for the daily refreshes on mod energy unless there was a bonus event going. Got it. Got it. Well, hopefully we can do that for you here soon. But um, I mean, you just keep farming. I keep farming. Sorry, I'm, I'm, my brain is going eight different directions at once. So yeah, keep working those well, speed mods. It sounds, <laughs> it sounds like you're aware of it and you're on it. So um, yeah. hey, man, I know we've heard it before. I think we've heard it before. But tell us your Star Wars story and your, and how did you come across this game? Yeah, um, yeah, we've we've had this conversation before. But uh, yeah, Ali said I'm. Not quite Gen X, but uh, I'm just on that cusp of the Millennials. So uh, I grew up with the Star Wars. Um, you know, Return of the Jedi was, or 
yes, Return of the Jedi was uh, my big forte into it. And then, you know, the prequels came out and all that. And got in, then they started having the games and the, the battlefronts and whatnot. And yeah, and then, like I said, I was, I used to play, I played multiple games on my on mobile devices and eventually I just got bored of them and found I I, I had uh, the uh, Galaxy of Heroes ad pop up in a game one time I was like you know what let's give it a shot and I've enjoyed it a lot more than I would say most of the other mobile games I've played in that you can be a lot more free to play than a lot of the games yeah be a, because you know some of them it's they've they've got they're like a gotcha game where you have to build a roster and you collect the characters but then you get, i was playing uh there was a marvel future fight where you would have to collect the characters and then the characters would have skins instead of having multiple versions of them like instead of having five pawns you had just have one on and they would have different skins that you could slap on and that would change their abilities and whatnot and you just had to keep constantly buying these new things to, to keep competitive. And I got tired of it. I must have spent like eight, nine hundred bucks granted into that game. And so far in a year and a half, I've dropped 30 for two bundles. Yeah, I was just about to say, Roger Roger, who is one of our newest High Council members, we were just talking about uh, that Marvel game, what, what is it again? Marvel Final Fight? Marvel Future Fight. Yeah. Future Fight. He was big into that as well previously. So, um, you know, my mobile experience started with Clash of Clans and then expanded to Clash Royale. And then I found a, a few games like this along the way. Like there was a, a Walking Dead game, which was, you know, a, a, you know, a collector slash yep. gotcha game. And there was a. Um, and I played Lego Legacy Heroes along the way, but this game has been this game's been with me since 2015, basically with a couple of breaks in there. But um, yeah, so uh, man, that's you know, good stuff, good stuff. I'm glad to hear. So any uh, any other final? Uh, yeah, work on your speed, man. But any other final words or ideas or anything else here? Um, yeah, definitely. I think that uh, the new path nowadays is definitely the assault battle teams. Yep was up and running is going to be important because let's face it i'm a year and a half in now and that's just a year and a half of missing out on all of those rewards yep um and i think definitely everybody should uh should have more than one team that they're focused on at any given time definitely because there are those different breaks in gear that are required between the characters so you can always have one that you're really focused on one that you're kind of working on and one that's a uh, a passive farm yep you so. always be, gotta be always be sharding everybody always be sharding be, yep that's exactly it and yeah that's why I, that's why i was kind of i really wanted to get another review done because i was at that you know approaching that crossroad like i said of what do i work on while i'm working on my executor yeah so all right yeah. man that's awesome. I'm, I'm glad you jumped on again, and uh, it was good to talk to you for sure. And, um, I mean, it's 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 really true. It's With all the light speed bundles especially coming out, it makes assault battles. It, you, you can just farm the assault battles and then feed your... We'll, we'll see what happens with this next round. I'm, I'm guessing there'll be another couple Galactic Legends available. And if they do that, then it really will make the assault battle farming something you can do while you're grabbing light speed bundles along the way as well. 100%. And... There you go. If the uh, the executor becomes the next one, I'm really going to be cheesed, but that's life, right? <laughs> you can't control it. Just keep moving forward. But hey, Chris, yeah. have a great day, man. Thanks for jumping on chat. You too, Nooch. Have a good one. All right, Chris. Bye. All right. Last by, by the way, it was Star Wars Commander was the Star Wars uh, Clash of Clans game. I tried it. It was okay. It made my phone really hot. Like it would took a lot of work on my phone. And I never really got into that one. I played it for like a week or two and it just didn't really work for me. So, all right, last review today, guys. I'm not going to have time to spin the wheel today. We'll, we'll hopefully have time tomorrow. We had so many people pop on today to claim their monthly reviews or to or to cash in on a review. It just kind of ate into the time. So we're going to be streaming the next couple of days and we're going to have some roster review streams next week as well since it'll be a, hey, I appreciate that El Bucking. Hey, I want to support you anyway. So stay the way you are. Keep doing your thing. I'd like to know 
what should I go for after Leia and Leviathan, but only if you have time? Uh, well, after Le Le Leia and Leviathan, you should go for, probably if you don't have them, um, Jabba or Sith Eternal or Jedi Master Luke. Do you have those guys? Because Leviathan leads you into Sith Eternal. Leia leads you into Jedi Knight Luke for Jabba and Jedi Master Luke. So if you don't have those guys yet, that's where you should go after you get Leia and Leviathan. But that's endgame stuff there, man. I would think you may already have that stuff if you're going for Leia and Leviathan. And if you already have that stuff and everything else, you're going for stuff like Dr. Aphra and Jar Jar and stuff like that. So, all right, Sinsuna, you're going to be the last review for today. You have every GL after Leia, your Kyber too. Well, then start, go, go start getting those other teams. I'm not sure what to tell you if you've already got every other GL. If you have Dr. Aphra, do you have Jedi Knight Cal? Do you have Bo-Katan? Um, and do you have Jar Jar? Those would be the ones to go for after that. I assume you have Starkiller. I assume you have Inquisitors. You don't have Inquisitors. You got to get Inquisitors. We're going to wrap this up with a five-minute review for Sensuna here. One moment. Let's get that countdown loaded up. We don't know which one is better because we don't know the Jar Jar team yet. We know Bo-Katan is really good. We know that. We know that. All right, Sensuna, what did you write up here? I'm in a place where I just finished the farm. Where do I go? Am I going after teams or another GL? Is that from Nelson Cargo? Am I farming ships for? I'm sure if I should use Relic Mats now to finish Kylo Mask or use them to finish more enemy teams. Let's go. We got Ray. We got Executor down over here. Chromium. You should be able to climb higher than Chromium with this roster, my friend. So should you go for Kylo next? You don't have the any of the First Order stuff. Let's take a look at those First Order ships. Uh, yeah, no First Order. You didn't buy the bundle there. So Kylo's a little ways off. You just finished race. That's pretty good. Let's look at her mods real quick. Looking pretty good there so far. Offense. They need some more speed on that arrow. But I like the idea of an offense arrow on her. Just need a little more speed on it. Maybe 10 more speed. You'll be good to go. But it's a pretty good mod set. You're on the right path for sure. Then if we look at what's the next farm. Uh, let's see here. We talked about. Well, let's look at your assault battle farming. Let's take it. Since we've been talking about that all day. Let's talk about assault battle farming. Let's go and look at your rebels. And there we go. There's Commander Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Harrison Dula. Uh, no, nah, that's not on the team. Commander Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, 3PO, Chewbacca, and Chupio. Working on that. That is the team. will get you to the end of the assault battle for that. You got your Phoenix. Uh, Captain Rex isn't really farmed, so that's not really doing you much good there. Let's take a look at your Imperial Troopers. Those Veerus Imperial Troopers aren't very good. Let's take a look at your Inquisitors. Your Inquisitors aren't very good. Let's take a look at your Night Sisters. They are also not very good. Let's take a look at your Sith. They are not very good. So, I'm going to recommend this. I'm going to recommend... You've already got Rey on the roster. You've got your Executor, which needs to be... Uh, you need some more stars in that Executor. The reason you're down in Chromium is because you don't have a lot of the, the core-type teams. And those core-type teams now are going to be Assault Battle teams. So, I want you to farm your Imperial Troopers. Get your CLS team done. Get your Night Sisters up. Go get your Inquisitors. Work on those assault battle teams. Get your Palpatine with uh, Basla, Sean Fallen, Darth Malak, Darth Revan, and Vader can be in that squad. You could do you could do the Sith one with that. Go get your Jedi squad. That's gonna be Jedi Knight Revan, Jedi Knight Luke. You can start with you can start off with Jedi Knight Revan. Adding Jedi Knight Revan to this group will get you to it should get you to I believe looking at it yeah with Grandmaster Yoda in there that'll get you to tier two of the assault battles the ground war assault battles with your Jedi. So right now, focus on the core team farming and bouncing up and down for your assault battle farming. That's what you need to do on this roster because you've already got Ray, you've already got Starkiller, you've already got Executor, you got a bunch of bounty hunters, you got Mara Jade in there. You've got a nice little start of a roster right now, but get to the assault battle farming. Jedi, Night Sisters, Sith, Inquisitors, Imperial Troopers, and your CLS team. That will get all of your assault battles done for you. You'll start accumulating all sorts of relic gear every month by getting through those assault battles, tier two and tier three. That's going to make a gigantic difference on your roster. Now let's look for some more low-hanging fruit on this roster. I'll start right here. You're working on Rex. You said you're working on Rex. I'm going to jump away from Rex because you said you were already going to tell me you're working on that. You said you're working on your mods, so I'm not going to look at your mods. As you said, you already looked at Ray. We're not going to keep looking there. So you're already working on mods. So that's a good thing, too. I'm just going to focus in on Assault Battle Farming. I don't know what else to say. 
that's what you should be doing with this roster. Get those assault battle teams up and running and make things happen on your roster, my friend. Uh, what You can get Darthrea up. That'd be nice to have. But I think I saw in there. Hold on. Low-hanging fruit. A Qui-Gon Jinn Omicron and a Relic Jenna and Anakin. Low-hanging fruit. That's a full team for Grand Arena. It's a really nice team for Grand Arena. Low-hanging fruit. Let's take a look at something else here. We got her. I don't really see any supports that go with her, so that's not going to work for us. What else do we have? Kylo? I mean, you're you're okay for Kylo, but you're, you've got the ships, and that's going to hold you up. Although, you, you got that all done. Let me take a look at this again. First Order TIE Fighter. So that and that. You, I hope you're... Definitely keep farming the shuttle every single day. You got to get to that shuttle. I, I would probably be reversing this twice a day to get to Kylo because Kylo is going to be an important add to your roster as well. That's just a few relic levels of the stuff you've already got. So Kylo is going to be a worthy effort on your part as well since you don't really have any sharding to do for Kylo except for that shuttle. But definitely along with the shuttle, you need to be, uh, you need to be farming the TIE Echelon. You've already got the Special Forces almost done. The TIE Echelon needs to be farmed as well. Because that'll get you that executor counter whenever you get the finalizer to seven stars. So that's what I would say, man. All the assault battle farming, get your finalizer ready. You're going to have to add a Zeta to General Hux. At least a Zeta to General Hux. I would also say probably a Scarred Zeta on Kylo Ren Unmasked. And that'll get you through the Kylo event. And that's the farming you need to do, man. Get that assault battle farming done and let me know what it is. I'd love to see the roster again. Send Suna, one of our authors of many, many cahoots over time and that's going to wrap up our stream for today i saw a combo going on there in chat we had a lot of fun chris hardy forgot to ask somebody i think somebody answered though uh maybe chat with a fiber crystal packs or circuit boards i think though no they come out they come out like once a month or something um somebody say that they come out like once a month yeah they just they they last for a week they come out once a month i think they're best used for carbonite circuit boards and bronzium wiring myself so there, Sensuna. Let's look for some raids here before we get out. Hold on, everybody. Hmm. No one's playing Galaxy Heroes right now. What else is out there? Uh, that was this old one. Yep, it's all expired. Let's see if anybody's playing anything Star Wars right now. Not too many people playing Star Wars. Okay, we're going to raid Garrett. <laughs> we're going to raid Garrett over on Twitch. Let me go see if anybody's out there in YouTube streaming right now. Three more Cahoots working on. Bring it on, baby. As a true is playing Battlefront 2. I kind of know that guy a little bit. All right. We're going to raid As a true here on YouTube. All right, everybody. Hey, I it's gonna lag. Why do you lag? Let's hear from that Cantina band, everybody. Hang on. We're gonna raid as a true. I he's playing some Star Wars stuff on YouTube. We're gonna raid a guy playing Star Wars over on Twitch. His name is gonna be Garrett. I hope you have a great day. Hang on for the raids. I will talk to everybody soon. I had a good time. Thanks for all your support. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel, more roster reviews, a lot of roster reviews over the next couple of weeks. Have a good time. I will talk to you soon. And always remember, a nuke's too good.